Hello and welcome to the 2022 marathon, uh, Lotro Marathon, for our fall fundraising campaign at Signum University. Very excited uh, to be with you guys today. I missed our marathon. Of course, we normally do this like end of, Sept end of September, first week in October, around there. Uh, so we're about a month later than usual. And uh, great fun to see you guys here, as always. Um, I am... So here's the plan for today. The plan for today is that we've got... I've got Wigand here, and we're here in Mordor. We're at the Agarnaith Ranger Camp. So we are over here on the eastern side of Mordor, um, where Wigand has been waiting patiently. However... He's, since he's been so patient, he uh, received a number of presents. So first of all, many thanks to those of you, uh, Rosie and Phil, I believe, who sent me food parcels. Uh, uh, Wigand is very grateful for his food parcels. He's got them all queued up and ready to go. I just have to remember to use them because I have plenty now, so I don't need to like conserve them. So I should, I should use them with some regularity. But um, he also has received, because uh, I, I got the uh, expansion pack and such, he got has several different uh, cosmetics here. So um, so check them out here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are we wearing right now, Wigan? We're wearing the, uh, this is the, um, oh, yes, the, the Alliance of the Third Age outfit. He's a uh, sporting now. And we can change him later on to uh, his next cosmetic feature. Um, but these sets are pretty cool, actually. I liked almost all of them, so I queued him up. So here he is. He's gonna. He's looking sharp. Uh, I love the. Uh, I love the cloak. The the two trees with the sun and the moon up above. Really nice. Really nice Valinorian cloak there. Pretty cool. Yep, no stealthing for Wigan, Kendall. That is absolutely correct. He does things a little bit differently. Well, only a little bit differently, because really, I still run Grifflet, my burglar, as if he's a guardian like Wigan, which is where I trained. Uh, Wigan is my first... This is my first ever alt uh, here on Lotro, my guardian, the very first character I made. Um, he's at level 113 now, and going to cruise his way through Epic. Now, I want to make it clear... Epic only. <laughs> Today I'm only doing the epic. Athelod! Hey, how are you doing? Awesome, I haven't seen you in a long time. Okay, another thing I haven't seen in a long time is anything around here. So I'm trying to remember... I need help remembering... Uh, remembering the story here. And yes, I should begin by um, I should begin with an initial message um, that uh, of course we're in the middle of our fall fundraising campaign for Signum University so I do want to remind folks um, sorry I'm looking for some kind of a quest indicator but no I guess just anything anything that's sufficiently foul in Agarnaith I can go ahead and Let's see, do you count? Are you foul enough? No, no, that salamander over there is insufficiently foul. How about that boar? How's he rate on the foulness scale? Uh, hey, yeah, he counts. He's a diseased swamp boar and is uh, sufficiently, apparently sufficiently, uh, sufficiently foul. So there we go. Um, let's see if I remember how to fight, more or less. Okay. Um, so, anyway, yes, as I was saying, Signum University is... Uh, um, I, I encourage you to support Signum. Um, we do a lot over the course of the whole year, and I don't... Um, oh, Gore Crow, let's see, hang on, how foul is he? Oh, yeah, he's foul enough. Oh, I missed him. Woohoo! <laughs> I was trying to shout at him before. Oh, okay. 
Okay. That's it. All right, now Wigan is going to do his normal thing, which is I'm done fighting one creature at a time. Okay, let's get... Are you ignoring me? You are ignoring me. What do I have to do? Jump up and down? No, that didn't work. Hang on, is that, is that a foul wolf? Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Well, these wolves should be more a little more compliant. So come here, wolves. There we go. Yeah, come over here. And let's fight over here next to this gore crow. That'll surprise a lot of you. There we go. Okay, that's much better. Plaguey wolf. Okay. So, Wigand has spent some time upgrading his LIs. Man, what is going on here? Is that fungus? What that used to be? Was it a stump? I guess it is a stump. Huh. Okay. That fight might have looked fair, but it felt foul. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, yeah, you think I should leave a note for Grifflet? Maybe it'll still be here when he gets here. Okay, so there are more foul creatures. I've got to defeat somehow. Okay, but I need help remembering the story. What's that? An infectious plague rat. Oh, he counts too. Is he going to attack me? Oh, good. Yeah, come over here, infectious plague rat. Is he coming still? Where'd he go? Well, there he is. Oh, good. Now the boar's coming, too. Okay. All right. Excellent. Oh, I lost the boar. I only just got the wolves. That's no good. Okay. All right, where's my thing? Oh, yeah, there's my thing. Okay. Am I under attack? Oh, it's the rat again. Okay, rat, sorry. I'll stay a little bit more local for you. What else is over here? Is there, oh, it's another rat. Okay, good. We've got a rat team. And I'll get back to my friend, the boar. And that'll be good. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm just trying to remember my controls. Oh, I attracted the plague flies. What a nuisance. Hey, they count, though. All right. Fine. Fine. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Actually, yes, I did I did uh, check my, my trait tree just like a uh, day before yesterday. So <laughs> that still only counts as one, JJ. Fair enough. Okay, all right. Let's, um... All right. Where is my show history? No? Show completed. Loading. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. Okay, let's see. It's the Black Book of Mordor. What are they called? Epic. Black Book of Mordor? Yeah, okay. All right, filed under the... Okay, there we go. Black Book of Mordor. 
So what do we do? I'm just gonna, I'm just going to recap, and this will be a catch up for people who are who missed last year. Okay, first we went beyond the black gate. Yep, I remember that, and then the cruel history of Durthang. Right, we were uh, figuring out. I remember the um, the place where the where there were like the Dunedain who were killed, and we were like getting vengeance for them and stuff. Ugruhor. The Thondrim. Yeah, that was them. And then we got a Yorzen. Right, he's the Easterling guy, right? Oh, we got the Tale of the Ancestors, right? The Thondrim. Yep, I remember that. Okay, and then Chapter 2. What was in Chapter 2? Yeah, so a Yorzen steals a thing. Okay, right. Yours in the Wiley, right, right. Okay. We go in and get an heirloom. Right, then we got the Light of Arendel stuff starting up, of which I seem to have an insufficient amount right now. Okay. Madness at Baradur. The mouth of Gondo, right? So there was an emissary, and we spoke to him on Aragorn's behalf. So we had the competition. So remind me, who is fighting? There's a big fight to fill the void now in Mordor. There's some folks who are trying to take over and sort of reset things, right? Um, the mouth of Sauron was one. Um, there's, yes, uh, right, a yours in the many things, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Kendall says a Yorzen is definitely not one of the nameless things. Yeah, clear enough. Clear enough. Okay. And what did we get? Oh, yeah, then we went to Lingaris and fought a whole bunch of spiders forever. The Dreadlands. Dulgabeth. Dulgabeth. Yeah. Which one was Dolgabeth? So Ugruhar, Ugruhar, Dolgabeth, and a Yorzen. Are those the three? Which one's the mouth of Sauron? What's his What's his proper name? Is that Ugruhar? Um, Dolgabeth is the mouth. Okay, Dolgabeth is the mouth. And there went, then there was a there was a woman, right? Which one was the woman? Oh, the Gurzul. Right. Okay, so Dolgabeth is the mouth. Yep, Dolgabeth is the mouth, right. Urudani, right, Urudani. Um, Urudani. Oh, and then I'm almost caught up here. Mithrandir spoke at length to me about the Gurzul. But much of what he had to say was speculation. They seem to have been black Numenorians that swore to serve Sauron during the later years of the Second Age, before the last alliance of elves and men besieged, er, besieged Barad-dûr. Many were the cruel men who sought to serve the Dark Lord in those days, but few only won his favor. Okay, he believes Sauron bled his favorites with the edge of Gulthauk, his prized Morgul knife. They need no longer fear the passage of time, this is the Gurzul, right? For by this act they were made deathless. They are like to the Nazgul, but lesser in power, and unlike those wraiths, they can be slain. Okay. Um, great. And then the Stone Maiden, right? Right. Okay. Um, so I was trying to find out more about the Gurzul. Zagharog. Was the fire woman, right? Yeah, she was showing me images from the past. And that was the one right before this. Okay. All right. The rest of it will... Okay, now at least I now remember, like, the basic names of the major players here. Um... 
Oh man, Kendall, there will be many voiced uh, names uh, in uh, in Mordor. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Let us. I, I got. I, I got one more foul creature to kill. Now well, that one will do. Where's my? Where's my bows? Don't I? Huh. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, because sometimes I don't want to bother running over to them. Right. Okay. I love how the boars rotate after you kill them. And that's done. Meet up with the adventurers near the junction with the eastern road. Oh, so I'm, I, I keep going. All right. Up to Grishbout. Okay. All right. Off we go. I got to keep my... They're not going to do something hideous, right? Like drop quest items in the loot bag, are they? It's like one of my least favorite things. Yes, they are. Oh, man. All right, then I'll have to keep uh, checking it in paranoid fashion for a while. Come, wayward. On we go. I hope they've mostly stopped doing that, but that has to be my least favorite thing. Okay. Uh-oh, seem to be getting a little shadowy. Oh, here we go. Lindar made it to the meeting location. But where is the other adventurer? I don't know, but I overshot him by about 20 yards. Okay. Okay, Lindar. You're a Gondorian chap. You look um ready for battle. What are we doing here? We should never Ooh. have come here. Oh, dear. We should never have come here, Wigan. We should never have come. This place is not fit for good folk. It hates us and will strive evermore until we are slain. And the marsh will never give back our bodies. It will jealously drag us down beneath the surface and never let us go. Um, okay. Out of Drog was slain by a terrible creature to the south, not far from here. And Ronaleg is missing and nowhere to be found. I ran to my shame, but shame for or not, I am still here and they are not. Can you search for Ronaleg at least, and mayhap see if, if Out of Drog survived his wound? I cannot imagine that he did, but if there is a chance that he lives, we should not abandon him. My courage is spent. What good is a man of Gondor who runs from peril? And yet there's peril all around us in this horrible swamp. Oh man, totally agree, Linadar. It's fairly perilous. Okay, so I'm going to look around for... What am I doing? I'm searching for Ronaleg and Ardrog, and then I'm learning of the fate of Ronaleg, which does not sound good. Um, okay, right. So I'm searching for them and also finding out information about them, presumably, which um, should be more or less attached to uh, them. My, uh, searching for them. Ideally, that will be the successful outcome of my search. Okay, let's see. Somewhere around the intersection. Oh, hang on. Suspiciously near this wolf here. Outer Drog's body lies in the muck. Oh, dear. Outer Drog has succumbed to his wounds. Very sad. Very sad. Outer Drog, I scarcely remember thee. But still... It's awful sad. Okay. All right. Yes. We are in Mordor, but we are going to get through Mordor. I did most of Mordor last year. Didn't quite get through it all. But uh, we're going to finish up Mordor today. And then my goal is to get all the way through Northern Mirkwood. I want to get to the end of the Northern Mirkwood line. That's what we're going to try. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right. We're getting there. I have no quarrel with you, good Sir Wolf. Okay. 
Let us see. I should be able to answer questions if folks want to ask questions. If you have Tolkien questions to ask, they may or may not be related to the... Hey, who are you? You're not Eredrog. You're a... You're a side quest. Not interested. Wigan, laser focus on the epic line here. However, uh, what's his face? Ron Leg. My... Oh no, I'm being attacked by a rat. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. What's what's going on in there? Is there Am I being attacked by something still? I'm resisting something or other. Oh, wait, that's a standing sword. Did the sword fall from Ronaleg's hand as he was born aloft? Is this a rhetorical question? Okay. All right, Bertrand Russell has a question. Kendall has a question. Okay. Um, to what extent is the Lotro universe influenced by Tolkien's Catholicism? Well, that's a complicated question. I mean, it's a complicated enough question to ask to what extent is the Lord of the Rings influenced by Tolkien's Catholicism? Um, I would certainly say that um, I would certainly say that in um, the shortest answer would be indirectly, you know, or, or uh, um, in an indirect way. Um, I'm trying to think of instances. I mean, obviously, there are some ways in which Tolkien's Catholicism is baked into his entire world building. And as such... Um, Lotro does a great job of following Tolkien's world building, and so therefore we, you'll see its influence. Um, and when I say is baked into his world building, I'm primarily talking about things like nothing was evil in the beginning, even Sauron was not so. Um, the idea that evil does not exist as a as a like a positive and separate force, but as merely a corruption or perversion of things that were created good is a very Catholic idea and a very dominant um, idea in The Lord of the Rings. So that's one um, one example of a very indirect way in which Tolkien's Catholicism certainly impacted his worldview and his world building and therefore um, his uh, and therefore the game as well in as much as it follows that. Boy, this guy's real upset. I am not surprised to hear that I, that Arrow... <laughs> You know, the the fact that the voiceover dude is so frantic makes me want to, like, read his text, you know, a little more languidly. I'm not surprised to hear that Aerodrog was dead, for the creature that attacked him was a terrible, rotting thing. I can still hear its awful cry echoing in my head. But what of Ranaleg? You found his sword, but no sign of the man himself? You tell Linadar that the sword was struck blade first, stuck, sorry, blade first in the mud, as if Ranaleg dropped it from a height as he was carried aloft by some flying creature. Linadar's eyes are saucers, wide with horror. I, I cannot stay here, Wigand. I cannot abide this swamp for a single moment longer. I did not think myself a coward, but who could remain in this land and keep his wits? Let the shame follow me back to Gondor. I care not. At the least, I will keep my life. Please help me back to the gate, Wigand. I cannot bear to go alone. Yeah, probably not the way that it was intended to be read, but funnier. Okay, Linadar is so shaken that you agree to see him safely out of Mordor. Okay. Talk to Mithrandir and Kirith Gorgor? All the way up to Kirith Gorgor, huh? So let's see. Um... He's not going to follow me, is he? No. I just have to go to Gandalf? Okay, so I can port. Right. Fine. Um, 
Ms. Lewin, I agree. Yeah, yeah. His emphasis on good guys not manipulating the free choices of others, but rather respecting individuals' free will is another baked-in concept. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay, where is this? Oh, back to the ranger camp? Okay, right, let me just go back to the ranger camp. I don't think this wolf is going to let me go. Yeah, he's going to interrupt me. It's fine. Come here. Come here, wolf. Okay. Um, oh, man. Alan Holman, I have... Um, why do I seem to be fighting this... Why was I punching that wolf with my bare hands? That seems a little bit uh, odd. Um, yeah, I see lots of people suggesting other really good ways, uh, you know, examples of ways in which Tolkien's Catholicism is baked in. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Alan Holman was asking, do I think that Tolkien himself uh, would be happy with this game? Boy, that's a question that's really impossible to answer. Um, I try never to play that game. Um play the what would Tolkien have thought of this, of whatever it is, you know, uh, game. Um, because it's almost always simply an invitation. No, I mean, it's almost explicitly an invitation to project one's own reactions backwards onto Tolkien. And, like, we can't know. Like, we really can't. Um, uh, some people like to talk this way fairly confidently um, a lot. There are some things that, like... Tolkien was pretty consistent about, you know, stuff that he liked and didn't like. But, you know, like, I'm always surprised. Both. Like, you know, when you come across references to, like, a book he read and responded to, like, to something that he liked or something that he disliked, and I am always, I'm not always, but I'm often surprised. So, no, I, um, I, of course, cannot possibly say, um, uh, cannot possibly say whether Tolkien would have liked it or not. Um, but I will say, let's see. Let's go to a Dune Foothold. Hang on, I gotta even remember where that... No, let's maybe not go out this far. Okay. Um, yeah, a Dune Foothold. That's just where I, just where I want to go. Okay. Um, so, yes. Um, do I think that we know sort of the principles that... Well, okay, no, I can't even say that, what I was just about to say. What I was just about to say is we know the principles um, that Tolkien sort of appreciated in adaptations. Um Line-by-line line fidelity was not the priority. We're talking about, you know, Tolkien, who suggested they cut the Battle of Helm's Deep from a film version of The Lord of the Rings. So, like, we know he is fine uh, with a certain amount of flexibility on a line-by-line line basis. Um, what he did insist on is that there's an understanding of the story and that some kind of justice is done to the story. And I certainly think he would have appreciated... Um, justice to the world building as well. We didn't talk about that kind of thing quite as much, though you can see uh, some emphasis on that as well. Um, anyway, but, uh, and yeah, like the question about whether, you know, he would have enjoyed, you know, MMOs or whatever, Phew. like, really, really difficult. Uh, to uh, uh, even imagine an answer to that question because it's something so far beyond his experience. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Kendall says, first you'd have to explain what a video game is. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. Exactly. Um, the kind of... Yeah, Kendall, the, this, the sort of the emphasis on, exper on environmental storytelling. Um, this... I don't know. I mean, I personally... And again, again, here I don't want to just project. I personally find very fascinating the entire concept 
of storytelling within a video game environment like an MMO. That is to say, the kind of storytelling which is both, um, which both has a particular narrative that is being unfolded, but in which also the audience is a more is a much more direct participant, right? In which the audience the 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 audience of the story is the protagonist of the story as well, and actually impacts the outcome of the story. Um, that's a fairly remarkable kind of literary genre. Um, and uh, but I mean, would Tolkien have been interested in it? I don't know. I mean, I'm interested in it, so needless to say, I'm tempted to be like, oh, yeah, Tolkien would have been all over that, but I have no idea. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Even things like D&D are beyond what he lived to see. Okay, let's see. What did you learn of Argonite? Um, are the rumors true? Well, if the rumors are whether or not there are like diseased rats and crows and boars and wolves there, yes, they certainly are. Many are the explorers who have returned from that land shaken, robbed of their courage. Well, that seems to be a correlation as well that I can confirm. You recount what you beheld of the festering swampland, and the wizard is most interested to hear of the vile creatures that you encountered. They were pretty foul, Gandalf. I was watching, you know, I was measuring the foulness quotient, and it was pretty high. I am made uncomfortable by your description of these beasts, Wigan. I get it. That they suffer from some malady is clear, but there are one or two points about which I desire clarification. Something affects the creatures within Agarnaith, and it is no natural rot. It lurks in the air and the water of that land, a pestilence affecting the animals and the plants of the bloody gore. I must return to Minas Tirith to conduct my study, and I ask that you come with me. Oh, really? Back to Minas Tirith? Okay. We must return to Minas Tirith. The creatures that walk in Agarnaith and the vegetation that grows there suffer from a rotting disease. Worry has begun to gnaw at me concerning this disease. There are scrolls and tomes within Minas Tirith that may dispel my concerns. Oh, I thought he had like a, a lab apparatus set up or something. I hope they do. I will need your help, Wigand. The wagon driver, Rathnor, prepares soon to leave. He will bring you to the city with some others, and Shadowfax will bear me alongside. Okay. Oh, and uh, my good friend Ayorzin, currently the Wily, wants to talk. And the wizard will be coming to the city as well. All right, I'll try to keep doing Ayorzin's voice. That is most fortuitous, Wigand. All know that wizards are standoffish sorts and do not make friends easily. He will be glad to have you there as we travel to the city of the invaders. Ayorzin looks at you slyly, then he laughs. Ah, you must pardon me. Truly, I am Ayors in the Blunderer. I should not speak ill of the city, for it is so tall, and only a small portion of it was damaged by the war. Only one third of it, yes. The battle would have, la would have had to last an hour or two more for the rest to be made to match. I await the ride to the city with interest, my new friend. This guy is so trustworthy. I just find my heart going out to him. Okay, Gandalf, so I'm supposed to find a wagoneer and ride in the back of a wagon? That's a little, you know, slow, isn't it? going to take us a while. Speaking of slow and taking us a while. All right, back to Minas Tirith. Time for some archival research into rot. We're going to go. we got to go uh, to the Dewey Decimal System. I wonder where rot and decay fit in the Dewey Decimal System. Uh, because we're apparently going to need to know that. Drow Snake, I think I would call him a yours in the trustworthy. I mean, clearly. Okay, Kendo, I feel like you're just baiting me now. <laughs> uh, hang on. Miss the, miss the dude. There's a wagon in the middle of the slag heaps that I just cruised past. There he is. Hey there. Um, Kendall, are you just uh, trying to find um, trying to find questions that you know will have like 45 minute answers or something? I, Kendall's question was, uh, what modern day misconceptions do we have about medievals? It is a legit question. It's, yeah. But hey, I've got time, right? 
I will be glad to have you on the wagon we travel to the city, Wigand. I do not trust that Easterling. Oh, come on, he's a lovely fellow. And I know some of the soldiers who will travel with us do not either. Speak to me when you are ready to leave, and we will depart. Oh, come on. Yeah, autoflagellator says the uh, that question requires a week's answer or none. Totally agree. Okay. Already? Then we will depart. Oh, the wagon ride is a solo, is a solo trip. Wait, who are these chaps? Huya and uh, Itli. No relation to Atli. Who are these dudes? I forget who these dudes are. Aram. Huh. Oops, hang on. Wait, wayward. What are you doing? Did I double click on him accidentally? Get off the horse, Wigan. They're Nurnhoths. Right. Right, so they're like freed slaves. Right, rescued slaves from Nurn. I love how pale they are because they've like never seen the sun. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I know exactly. No tanning beds in Nurn. That's exactly it. Okay, I gotta say. All right, Rathnor, let's do it. Whoa, where are we? The Song of Sweet Lara. Get the fire started. What? Okay, so where are we? We're in Athelian, North Athelian. Not too far from Osgiliath. Okay. All right, he said this is far enough for the night. We will continue to the city in the morning, get a fire started. Okay. All right. Is this, uh, what's his face? Lenadar? There we go. There's Gandalf over there. Okay. Yeah, Drosnik, isn't it awesome? It's my first, uh, new cosmetic set of the day. Got a bunch of new cosmetic sets, and, uh, I'm gonna be trying them out. Good, the soldiers have started a fire. We will take some food and rest, and when the sun comes up once more, we will continue on to the city. This is a pleasant enough place to wait out the evening. Much nicer than the lands we have left behind us. Well, yes. It will be good to have a reprieve from the choking fumes of Mordor and the wastes that border that foul land. But do not be lulled into complacency by the pleasing scenery. Keep an eye on that Easterling. He has caused no trouble thus far, but I do not want him to take advantage of our kindness. His sort are deceptive and untrustworthy, and we must not forget it. Well, you know, untrustworthy he does indeed seem to be. Here are Shadow Facts being like, I'm going to stand over here. These wagons travel more slowly than they did on the way to the Black Gate. Does Rathnor spare his horses the exertion of a reasonable pace? He does them no favors. Shadowfax is made the better by haste and revels in the lands passing by at speed. Really, Gandalf? Bah, these horses could do with some feed, and the evening will be rest enough, but I am impatient to reach Minas Tirith. The scrolls and tomes of the White City will be of use to me, but I need you there if we are to cover them sufficiently. All oh, right, I am... Does no man understand our need for haste? I know, we have some serious rot research to do. Where's the Yorzen? He's like missing, that can't be good. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey man, looking out into the purple sunset. You can just see Osgiliath down there, yeah, yeah. Osgiliath and Minas Tirith is just off the horizon, can't really see it. I understand. Hey there, Lenadar. How's it going? I don't care what he says for himself. I don't trust him. 
That Easterling would stick us with a blade without a second thought. How many good men of Gondor have already died at his hands or at the hands of his fellows? I will not sleep tonight. I will keep one eye open and make sure this Ayorzen does not try anything. You should do the same. Okay. Yeah, you're right, J.J. Gandalf is the uh, anti-tree beard. Okay. Okay, let's see. Come, lads, but keep an eye out. Oh, here we go. All right, Ayorzen. What have you to say for yourself? And, like, what's up with your pants? They're made of separate strips of cloth all the way. If you take off your, like, sash, would unravel your entire outfit? Just curious. Do these men think I have no ears? I hear that what they whisper behind their hands. It bothers me not. I can say the same of them, and much worse. They do not have even a portion of Ayorzen's courage or his fine features. <laughs> okay, dude. They are right to worry. If I wanted them dead, they would not see this sun come up in the morning. Lucky they are to have seen the end of the war. Do they know it is done? I do not fight for Sauron any longer. Did I say they were cowards and ugly of face? Dim-witted they are also, to think the war still needs fighting. Join them at their campfire if you wish. I am content to stay right here, and need neither the warmth of their fire nor their company. Okay. The sun is my companion. Okay. Sit and warm yourself by the fire. Okay. Sure. I want to sit where I can see a yours in, though, if it's all the same to you. There we go. Now I get everybody in the shot. I'm glad to be leaving Mordor behind us. Yep. Aye. Yeah. But we bring some of its refuse with us. Uh, do you mean me? Oh, a yours in. Yeah, right. You are right, Belith. That is a pity. It was none up to me, lads. Oh, that's the Wagoneer. Right. Blame Wigan or Mithrondir if you want to take the risk. Totally Gandalf's fault. I'm passing the buck on that one. I advise against it, says Gandalf. Okay. I'm in a dark mood already and do not have the time for small-mindedness. Yeah. Lunadar, tell me something. How fared you in Agronith? I think to go there when next I return to Mordor. What were you looking for? Thinking of building a vacation home there? Uh-oh. I, I think you should steer clear of it, Belith. I found no treasure there. It is perilous and, and empty. Ha! Says the Yorzen. Uh-oh. Is there going to be a row? You have something to say, Easterling? A yours and does not speak to cowards. Did they slow down the pace of the dialogue? It seems much easier for me to read it. Uh, I used to have a really hard time keeping up. Calling us craven, are you? I do not need to say it. You say it of yourselves. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? Okay. All right, you're making me stand up. I will not apologize to these cowards, Wigan. They are children, playing at war while the sun is in the sky, and called in for bed at sundown. They know nothing of Sauron. They know nothing! Okay. Your master is dead, Easterling. Sauron is gone. More or less true. He was no master of mine. You were a liar. Uh-oh. Is he going to punch him in the face? Uh-oh. He's bobbing and weaving. You do not know how it was. Oh, he decided to relent. He did not begin with Gondor. Nice. The Dark Lord did not come to your lands until he had conquered mine. 
If your people had been stronger, you might not have had the chance. Oh, come on now. That's a little hard. You were just saved by a miracle. Stronger. Strong like the walls of your white city. This one has seen Agarnaith. Ask him what he saw. Well, Linadar. Oh, dear. This is not going to go well. It was horrible. I, I do not want to speak of it. When next you speak of strength, consider this truth. She who made Agarnaith as it is, she came first to my lands. Ah. Her poisons devastated whole cities. They are empty now. No one walks the empty streets for fear of her memory. We tried not to say her name, but the children remember. Sweet Lara, they sing, walking in the moonlight. It's getting dark. Heard a baby crying, flew away at once. Who is this that... Can this be true? What well, Gandalf, do you know sweet Lara? Your wizard knows of her. Apparently he does. You men of Gondor do not know the horrors that befell my people. Yes, we fought for Sauron. Others of us died by his hand. We did not have a choice. I want to hear more of the Song of Sweet Lara. I do not believe that. I care not. But if ever you come face to face with Sweet Lara, you may understand. Huh. Hmm. Sauron is gone. I fear no lesser phantoms. How about you, Lenadar? I will not repent my words, Wigan, but I will confess to you that I paid no heed to events beyond the borders of Gondor. That Sauron first conquered the lands to the east was known to me, but I did not consider what must have meant what that must have meant to the people who lived there. I believe the Easterlings worshipped him as their dark lord, and no doubt many of them did, but the words of Eorzean have planted seeds of doubt in my mind. I do not like him, and I still do not trust him. But perhaps his people Bah I do not know, Wigan. Would we, have to, would we have succumbed to the domination of Sauron as did the Easterlings? I did not believe so, but perhaps it is a more difficult question to answer than I thought it was. Excellent. Thinking of... Oh, now the crying stopped all quiet again. Boy, you are a pleasant chap, Eorzean. We cannot believe everything that Eorzean says, Wigand, but I detect in his words some elements of truth. That his people passed down legends of the creatures that stalked their lands cannot be questioned, and I know the inspiration for the one he calls Sweet Lara. She was called Hlyreth the Stained, a creature of fell reputation. Once she made her home in Mordor, and it seems Agarnaith has not forgotten her, for the touch of her corruption remains. Many were the hints she perpetrated. Hurts. Hurts. Many were the hurts she perpetrated upon the lands of the Easterlings, and her foul touch was felt even in Gondor. But that is not a tale to be told in the dark, even by the fireside. Hlyreth is gone with her master, though her presence can still be felt in Mordor today. Sweet Lara, huh? All right, we're going to get some rest and then off we go. Okay, where are we? Main gates? Yeah. Right. Okay. Got it. I know where we are. All right, Mithran, dear, what do you say? At last we have arrived. I know, right? I am accustomed to haste, and Rathnor's horses were incapable of anything faster than a slow trot. 
Shadowfax might have done that in his sleep, but I did not wish to leave you behind. I have need of you now, and it would not do to arrive quickly and then wait for you to report at Rathnor's leisurely pace. Eorzen has given us little reason to trust him, Wigand, but your account of Agarnaith confirms some of my suspicions. The remainder require corroboration by other sources, but these can be found in the city. Go to the Houses of Lore on the southern side of the Fifth Circle, and look for any scrolls or tomes that concern the Great Plague that so, <laughs> that so troubled Gondor earlier in the age. I was wondering how Gondor knew of her. Ask a scholar there for some king's foil as well, if any can be spared. They have found it lately of use, but they still should have some to give to you. Once you have done this, you should see if Eorzen has anything else to say to us concerning this matter. Whether he can be trusted or no, he seems more willing to speak to you than to any other. Okay. All right. Let's see. So we're going to go up to the Houses of Lords of the Great Plague. That's really cool. That is very cool. Um... All right, I've got a ton of horses. Swift horse to the sixth circle. Yeah, where are we? One, two, three, four, fifth circle is where I want to go. Where's the regular stable, stable master? Oh, there she is. These are troublesome times indeed. Oh, no. She only goes out of the city. Okay. Fine. I'll just go to the sixth circle. But it's actually on the fifth circle, right? Hang on. I'm over here. I want to go... Okay. All right. Get on my Gondorian horse. And take off under here. Okay. Great. Great. All right. Yeah, okay, Edith, so exactly. So the plague. Um, the plague was very much um, a real thing. It's in Appendix A. Um, that, uh, okay, oh, wait, here's the House of the Healing. No, it's the House of Lore that I want. Okay. Um, yeah, so the, the, there was a great plague in Gondor. That's not the way down. Okay. Yes, um, and it was, I believe it was after the Great Plague that the defenses of Mordor were at last um, abandoned. But no, he does not say anything. Well, okay, no. All that he says is that it was pretty clear that it was part of the plan, that um, uh, Sauron had been behind somehow behind the plague but nothing of the mechanism was stated other than it was observed that his own um his own allies were hurt as badly by the plague as gondor um if it hadn't been so then gondor probably could have been sacked easily during the plague um but uh but nevertheless it did accomplish the weakening of gondor for some time and also the reduction, finally, the, the, the abandonment of the defenses in Mordor. Um, as I recall, that is, um, uh, that is what is said about the Great Plague in Appendix A. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. So what am I doing? I'm finding a book. Well, I see a lot of study tables. Do I have any hints on the map? No. Uh, why am I coming to the House of Lore to look for King's Foil? Wouldn't they have that in the Houses of Healing? Uh, 
Okay, so I'm just going to go around the Houses of Lore. Okay, these dudes pouring out like water or something. These statues pour... What is going on in here? Lady. What on earth is this place? So we have a king statue, creepy spider corpse, banners of our foes, petrified troll, stuffed warg, um, somebody's armor. So this is a museum. Museum of Horrors. Pretty weird, Covidil. Hey, Good to see you again. I don't remember you, but I'm sure Wigan does. Did you tire of danger already? Well, what is it that brings you to the Houses of Lore? I am ready and available to help you with whatever you might need. King's foil? Yes, I do have some here. It's very useful for treating headaches and other minor maladies. Has prolonged exposure to foul air of Gorgoroth been giving you headaches? I'm sorry to hear that, but perhaps this will help. Man, you are really sheltered. Okay, Covidil. Next, if you're having headaches, maybe spend less time in this creepy room. Meanwhile, can you tell me where I can find a book? Dude. This is a really tall statue for... Indoors. Oh, he has no head. No wonder I couldn't. Oh my god, I can't see the statue's head from here. Yep, can't see it from anywhere. Oh, she's not involved in the epic? Yeah, that would be part of why I don't remember. I like the posture of the statue. <laughs> of the statue on the right. Like the the sculptor wanted to capture <laughs> one of the kings being like, wait, what? <laughs> What's that? like? Uh, maybe when the king was modeling for the statue, somebody called his name off to the right hand side, and the statue just the like the you know sculptor just ran with it. Okay, do I have to go through doors? What's through doors? Huh? Okay. All right, uh, um, all right, there are books, but none of the correct books, apparently. Uh, oh, fireplace. Oh, we're having a poetry reading in here? Oh, yeah, there's the dude. Shh, quiet. Huh, when few people are sitting on the couches and more of them are lurking around behind so as to make it more easy to sidle quietly out of the room. That's probably a bad sign as to the quality of the poetry reading. Okay. Some hint as to where this book might be found in here would be handy. It's lovely in here, though. A, a, a wonderful variety of, of rooms. I got some elvish statues here. Didn't notice those before. Luthien dancing, Celebrimbor, Gilgalad. Okay. All right. Um, hey, wait, this is the Book of Horrors. This is where I, the, the House of Horrors this is where I just came from. Huh, who's that? Strange. Okay. Um, seriously. Would it be... Okay, a question. All right. Does anybody have any idea where this stupid book is? Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, sorry. Just totally ran through the middle of a harp recital. Shh, poetry recital in progress. Yeah. 
I am I am going in one direction. I'm just exploring. Huh. Aha! Ho ho! There's a book. What's going on over here in the corner, though? What are y'all talking about? Looks very serious. Looks like some water cooler conversation. All right, let's see. This musty tome provides a dry account of the Great Plague that ravaged Gondor beginning in the year 1636 of the Third Age. The forgotten scholar that wrote these pages noted that the plague arose somewhere in the east, and many of the folk there were consumed by the disease before it spread to the, northern, to the northmen of Rovanion. The account spends slightly longer detailing the effect of the Great Plague on the ruling of Gondor including the deaths of King Telem of Telemnar and all of his children, and the abandonment of Osgiliath for lack of men healthy enough to man its defenses. The author of these pages mentions in passing that the watches at Minas Ithil, the Muranin, Osdaithir, and Durthand were severely undermanned as a result of the disease, and you cannot help but wonder if he foresaw the problems that, would that that would cause in future days. Right, exactly, yeah, the watch on uh, Mordor. Uh, this is when it went away. The account further notes the discovery that the leaves of the Athalos plant were found to have a beneficial effect upon the pro progression of the plague, and that the, the disease finally ran its course in Gondor by the year 1637. Talk to a Yorzen on the parapet overlooking the city on the southeastern side of the fifth circle. Okay. You learned that Athelos was helpful. Okay. Yes, I did. All right. Oh, sorry. Harp recital. Right. Help. I'm trapped. There we go. Okay. Well, that was a lovely trip around the lore hall. Okay. All right, we're not southeasterly enough. We're we're going across. Okay. All right. So a Yorzen is somewhere around here. There was the ramp to the sixth circle. Okay, here he is. Oh, a Yorzen that dressed in not rags. Still going with the vertical stripes, but less with the mummy look. I like it, Eorzen. Looks like you got to redo your man bun there, too. It's good. Looks nice. All right, looking out across the Pelennor field, what status are we in here? Are those piles of dead bodies out there? May still be. It is, it is quite a sight, Wigand. I believe that Sauron's armies were so near to victory, but now I am not certain. The city appears much stronger from up here. Ayorzen stands silently, gazing out over Minas Tirith. Yeah, after he'd like done the switchbacks a few times, he realized that capturing a third of the city isn't as close to capturing the whole thing as he thought. When he speaks again, his voice is low and quiet. I fought on the field down there. It is hard to tell, but I think I can see where my sworn men joined the battle. I slew many men myself, wielding swords, wielding axes. That is the way of war. If it was not to be their blood, it would have been mine. Eventually, things began to go wrong. Some of my sworn men were themselves slain. Others turned and ran. I ran with them. Later, when we formed up again, word came down that some of the leaders were dead. The Lord of the Nazgul, maybe others. 
And I thought to myself, why should I die as well? I thought to take my men and go home, leave the war behind, but I received new orders. I was, set an I was to set an ambush for the force that had started to march in the direction of Mordor. Ah, the counter-ambushed ambush, huh? I left that task for the orcs. I tried to lead my men home, and I was betrayed on the road. It was not Ort Ortakul, Ortakul who betrayed me, the treacherous dog. No, it was, in fact, Ortakul. He was rewarded with my command, and I was brought to Udun there to rot. A Yorzen clenches his fist. The captain of the pit, Ugrukhor, did not plan to keep me there for long. He planned to send me to Agarnaith. Durthang was a nightmare, but it would be a pleasant daydream compared to that. Sweet Lara is there, Wigand. She is still there, and she is working on something behind the walls of Saragost. If you had not opened my cell, I would have been sent to Saragost, and death could not come quickly enough for Ayorzen, the unlucky. Once Sweet Lara got her claws in me, once she made me drink of her concoctions, her vile potions, I do not think I would be Ayorzen any more. So I... I thank you for freeing me, Wigand, if for nothing else. Now that is done, and we will speak of it no more. Ayorzen shakes his head abruptly and laughs. Perhaps I was wrong. This city is not so strong after all. Do you see the cracks there and there? Another hour or two, and Sauron would have had it quite in hand. You are lucky that his commanders were not as capable as I. Ayorzen, the strategic. You are lucky indeed in this way, Wigan. So very lucky. Okay. Whatever you say, Ayorzen, the strategic. Bring the king's foil to Mithrandir in the first circle south of the entrance to the city. Okay. No, I don't have Pixie with me now, Phil. Um, uh, and that is mostly for the very good reason that uh, uh, my wife is home. So that means my wife is Pixie's favorite person by far. Uh, so, uh, yes, I don't really rate when my wife is here. Okay, um, so post battle, do all of the stable masters go away? Like, what's up with that? Never mind. I'm just gonna go back up here and get that horse. Yeah, I know. I wasn't headed for the ramp. I was gonna go. I was just looking for the old. The, but the old stable masters are gone. Oh, they are. Okay. Well, that explains it. Okay, then I'll go back to where I remember the other one being. That's why there's just that express horse up to the sixth level, huh? Ready to go. Okay, there's the next ramp. That's not what I want. Right, it was through the other side of the underpass here. There you are. Swift horse to the first circle. They come back at, for midsummer in the wedding. Okay. Okay. Um, where's Mithrandir? Right. Back where I left him, presumably. Been standing there this whole time while I've been doing all your research. No wonder you were waiting for me. I hoped it was not so, but it is no longer safe to doubt, Wigand. Lyreth the Stained has come to Mordor, and she has taken the fortress of Saragos for her own. For all of his bluster, I can see no reason for a Yorzen to lie to you about this. More than a thousand years ago, Lyreth created the Great Plague in service of Sauron. It was tested in the lands of the East, and then it was unleashed upon Gondor, but it was not yet perfected. The plague, while deadly, could be treated with Athalas. King's Foil slowed its progress and aided with the defeat of the disease. Now Hlyreth has returned, and she is trying to finish her master work. Within the fortress of Saragost, she seeks to create a strain of the plague that cannot be cured with Athalos. She seeks to perfect the Great Plague. We need to learn how near Lyreth has come to her goal. Your description of Agarnaith tell your descriptions plural. Of Agarnaith, tell me that Lyreth's experiments would have an adverse effect upon her land. 
It may be that a study of the plants and creatures within it will shed light upon her progress. We need to learn how near Hyreth has gotten to achieving her goal, return to Agarnaith, and take some samples of material from the animals, plants, and water of that land. You should retain the king's foil, combine it with the samples, and see if there is any effect. We need not be overly concerned until the king's foil ceases to affect the disease, but by then it may be too late. Sixty samples should be enough. Sixty samples? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You know Harthalin. She intended to venture to Agarnaith. Look for her in the swamp, north of the eastward-running road to Kala, to Kala Gijak, and I am certain she will aid you in this. Sixty samples. Okay. Fine, yeah. All right, so, and then I got to return to Gandalf here, right? So let me make sure. Do I have... Let me make sure to bind... Make sure I get the milestone here in this uh, version of it. Where's the... Okay. Over there, yeah? Oh, there it is. Little fountain. Ah, see, I was in the wrong place. If I'd uh, tried to use my milestone to get back, I would have been taken to uh, before the battle or something. Okay. All right. Off we go. Back to Agarnaith. Hey there, Phyron. Yep. Not gonna pursue your side quest, though, because discipline. Ooh. Fire Drake sitting right there. Better ignore him. Okay. Collect all the samples. I don't even... Do I... No. No help on the map. I guess all 60 samples are right there. So, maybe there's a packet of them. Maybe if I go there, all sixty will be waiting in a like a in a bucket or something that I just have to pick up. Okay. In a box with the chain of custody documents? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I'm headed to the unexpectedly specific map prompt for where I should go to find my 60 samples. Unless I have to collect them in a particular sequence. How to make 60 samples even worse? Okay. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. I didn't have all my XP boosts on. I totally forgot about that. Let's see. This is the... Uh, my 100%. And this is the enhanced supply. Okay. That'll do to start. What is this? Oh, some runes, huh? Ooh, what are they, orange ones? Those are the crappy ones, aren't they? All right, fine. Um, all right. And dismount. And I'm gonna shout at the plague flies. Totally shouted them to death. Didn't even draw my sword. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's Hartholin. Right. She's not panicking. This land is foul, but 
We must watch it carefully. This place is foul, and I would rather be anywhere else. But that is precisely why we need to watch this land. Mithrandir believes that the bloody gore will be the birthplace of the next great plague. If such a disease is to spring forth anew, it will be from here, Wigand. I mean, look around you. Mithrandir wants us to collect samples of flesh and stem and water from Agarnaith. How very unpleasant. I will aid you in this. We can each collect half of what Mithrandir wanted. Oh, well, that's a relief. And then we will meet back here. Thanks, Hathalyn. Hathalyn, you're the greatest. Okay, what do I need? I need ten water samples, ten plant samples. Whoa, nasty. What did it just spew forth? Bubbling water. That was more than just bubbling. Nasty. And some plants. Okay. Yeah, that gore crow's not going to follow me. Did I lose the other wolf? Oh, there he is. Good. I got a few animal samples there. That's nice. Next time, I, they're a little too far spread out. The animals, I mean. I mean, I'm just whining right now, but... I mean, I'd rather fight four or five at a time. It's, oh, gross! Okay. Okay. Hey, come on! You better beat feet up there, Harthalyn, or I'm gonna. You probably can like collect water samples telepathically or something, can't you? Okay, some bubbling water. I shouldn't complain, at least it's easy to spot. Unlike books in the lore house. Okay, making progress here. Did I see Wenda before I left? Nah, I did not. Did not. Should have done, didn't do. Maybe next time I'm milestoning, I'll head to Bree. Okay. I'll certainly do that before I... Uh... Oh, hey, look, there's a bunch of animals over here. I got a boar, and who else? Is that a rat? Is a rat. I can't see it, so it must be a rat. Who's this? Viznox hideout? A blight mushroom? Do I want to attack that? I'm not really sure that I do. Technically, Gandalf did not ask for fungus samples. Just animals, plants, and water. How many animals do I need? Still seven. Still three, huh? We can do that. Follow me, wolf. OK, 
Okay, will the other wolf follow me over to here? Oh, good. All right. <laughs> okay. Good. So what do I need? Three more water and five more plants? What do uh, bog lurkers count as? Do they count as animals or plants? What am I under attack by a rat or something? What is that? It's a blood slug. And it is apparently slimy. Okay. Nasty. It's the mushroom I didn't kill? Nah. That mushroom's not chasing me. Uh, okay. Okay, got some more plants down here. Making progress. Got all the animals. Okay, water samples. Oh, got two plants over here. I feel like I should diversify my crops here. I'm like getting 10 different samples of the same kind of bush. Seems a little unscientific, Wigan. That's all I'm saying. Apparently we still have something here. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of things here. Plant, water, last plant. One more water deposit. I really don't see any need to pay attention to the... Yeah, Viznox hideout seems a little ominous, but... Oh, come on. I need one more little bubbling water thing. How hard is that? Is the map just lying to me? I know, Brunier, right? It's really too bad I can't find more water samples in this swamp. Been running around in water hip deep. It's like, unfortunately, there's just no water. I think the map is lying to me. What is that? I don't even want to know. Is that some nasty egg sack? Hooray! Okay. Phew. Let's bring the samples back, and then we will uh, celebrate our successful oh look a fire who made a fire nobody friendly apparently anyway 
We'll go back to what's her face, Hartha Lynn, see how she did while we were gone. And then we will celebrate completing that nasty quest by doing a giveaway. Daniel asks, is uh, Champion a good class for solo play? Yes, it is, Daniel. There you are. Did you collect your samples? I have mine right here. Okay. All right. Just before you returned, I saw a movement in the brush. Yeah, I did too. I recognized the shape of an orc and had pulled my bowstring taut before it could react. It's lying over there in the water to the northeast. Go see if it lives. Okay. All right, but hang on, Hearthwind. Um, we're uh, we're going to do drawing first. So um, what will happen Okay. Oh, reset. That's what I wanted. Okay, hang on. Here we go. So we're going to do a giveaway. Um, Okay, the giveaway is now open. So here it says what's going to happen. Oh, it's the bugs catching up with me. Okay. Uh, there you go. So you can type, type, if for this, everybody who's with me in Twitch, type exclamation point raffle, as you see many people doing. And I'll keep it open there for a little while, and then we will draw a winner. Okay. All right. Why am I still in combat mode? All right. Where is the... Um, where is her friend, the orc? Um... Ah, oh, there he is, over there. All right. Dead orc. The orc is dead. You remove a parchment from its hand. It was carrying a note? Really? All right, Hartholin. It had a note. It was passing notes in class and it was shot dead for it. Let that be a lesson. What did you find? The orc carried a message. That's right. Hartholin takes the crumpled parchment from you and quickly reads the message. I do not like the sound of this. A meeting of the masters of Mordor can signal nothing but trouble and ill omen for us. Oh, I didn't read it in my inventory? I didn't know I could read it. Okay, here we go. Lydrath, I have entrusted this response to the Khash Hai. To the Khash Hai. You are welcome to keep the bearer for your own purposes if you should find him useful. Let that soothe the sting of my master's refusal to heed your call. Saragost is not a suitable location. Perhaps Nargroth would be a more fitting site for the masters of Mordor to meet. Dolgrist, on behalf of Borg Borongos, Lord of the Khash Hai and the Flame. Love and smooches, Dolgrist. Okay. Great. I will test the samples with Arthalos, but you must complete a different task. Okay. All right. You need information, huh? The creature that gave this message to the Gash High I slew was named Dulgrist, and the words were on behalf of Borognos, Borengos, Borengos, of whom we have learned little. I propose that Lyrath has requested the Masters of Mordor to attend her in Saragost, and that they have sent their responses to her in the hands of runners such as the one I killed. Other responses must be on their way to her, and we must learn of their disposition. Defeat orcs and evil men of every variety near the following sites, and you may intercept communications intended for Lyrath. I suggest the Spire of Lugash, the settlement of Fushambal, near the Tower of Kirithungal, and the camp outside Nairbond. Good hunting to you. Good grief. Okay. So, Hartholin, you're sending me on a treasure hunt. Oh, we're on, what did I get? Warrior's Heart Stoic Bubble Strength. Actually, that's not a bad one. 
Yes. If only I had a... If only I had a tracery carry-all. Okay. Um, good, good. Let's see, what do we have down here? Oh, deed bestowed. Yeah, we're slaying orcs, are we? Who's... Is there something nibbling on me here? Yeah, nibbling is exactly right. Come on, seriously? Still in combat. All right. So where exactly am I going? I'm going up here to Dora Marth. So that one's nearby. And then, whoa, over here in Lingerus? Oh, no, there's like a hundred circles over there. And then down here, too? Phew. Okay. All right. Um... That's right. It's awesome. As Druid's Fire was just posting on Twitch, the giveaway that we're about to do includes... Um, it's a bundle that includes the Gundabad expansion, the Mordor expansion, and the Minas Morgul expansion, the Riding Skill, a Steed of Bree, a small crafting carry-all, 200% XP boosts, five of those, Skill and Slayer Deed boosts, and plus 5,000 Enhanced Reputation Supply, and plus 100 uh, crafting... XP. So lots of stuff there. So, okay, go ahead and get in the raffle. I'll give you a few more minutes. I see some people still adding that. Meanwhile, I'm going to head up towards Dor Amarth. I'm only glad it will allow me to get into my get onto my steed. What with the mushroom still chasing me and everything. Hi there, Wolf. You're welcome to chase me if you'd like. Yeah, that'll be fun. Be fun for the whole family, I think. All right. So, yeah, so... The one element of the Mordor plot that I have to admit I'm struggling with... I'm struggling with the... So... With the relationship between what seemed to me the two separate elements of the post Sauron's fall Mordor plot here. On the one hand, we have the invasion of Aragorn's forces, right? And throughout the entirety of Mordor, we've been running into Gondorian soldiers and elves um, who are coming in here to try to, you know, make... Oh, wait, did I pass something here? Hang on. Stop! Oh, stop, I said. Get off. Seriously, Wayward, that was so close. Okay, how many do we have? Three? Oh, they're running away from us. Are you any good? Oh, yeah. You are potentially good. Like, okay, can I go back to the sentries over here? I mean, the sentries aren't likely to be runners. But let's come over here and all fight together. How does that sound? Right? Let's play this like a team, everybody. Yeah. Oh, nice! Okay, I got Dolgabeth's one. Let's see. Woo, I got two of them? Oh, boy, Dolgabeth accepts twice. Go on, oh, here we go. Lyrath, mistress of Agronith. I have heard thy offer and think it most compelling. I know that thy love was for the Lord Sauron, but he did not return it in kind. I will not make that mistake. Whoa, is he, like, propositioning her? Together our enemies will fall before us, and we will sit upon twin thrones and rule Mordor forever. We will marry. He is propositioning her. And let that be a union to make our enemies quake. But to my second suggestion, I must decline. To thy second suggestion. Sedergast is not a suitable location. May I suggest the bones of Baradur instead? That would be a place most fitting for we two to ascend to the rule of Mordor. Dolgabeth signed, um, with greatest regard, regard and deep affection, Dolgabeth, Lord of Mordor and heir of Sauron. Okay. Awesome. Hey, hey, awesome. Hey there, friend from Ortodunia. Always good to see you guys. 
All right. So creepy. Okay. So that was probably it up here, right? Okay, great. That means I need to head. I got no. I need to head over here. Towards the Morgul Vale. All right. Cool. Um, you didn't think anyone wanted to kiss the mouth of Sauron? Well, just shows how wrong we were, right? To think that. Okay. Came back here because I knew that there was a stable master. Let's see. How about... Where are the ruins of Dingarth? I don't even remember where that is. Let's find out. Some empirical... Oh, taking the left. That's where I wanted to go. Oh. Okay. Got it. Near the eyes and mouth. Up there. Okay. Well, might as well just ride from here then. Okay, so I want to turn around. Right? No, I do not. I want to take a left. Great. Anyway, so as I was saying, there are two main story, there are two sort of stories that are unfolding in parallel here in um, yeah two main stories that are unfolding in parallel in, uh, in Mordor one is the good guys invading and trying to set things to rights um, and you know hunt down the last of the um, you know the last of the enemy uh, that's still at large in Mordor the other plot line is the, um, okay, and then I take a left, right, yeah. Um, I, the, then the other plot line is the lieutenants of Sauron who have survived and who are trying to, you know, fill the void of power left by the fall of Sauron. Now, both of these storylines are perfectly sensible storylines. I mean, I don't like dislike or disapprove of either one of them in any way, you know, intrinsically speaking. Um, but they seem awkwardly brought together. That's what I'm struggling with, with the Mordor story. Um, The bad guys, you know, like, hang on, what's going on here? Was there an orc up here I was supposed to, okay, somewhere in here I'm supposed to look for an orc dude, hang on. Yeah, potentially. Hushed voices of orc trackers. Hi there, orc trackers. Good to see you. Oh, am I still being spat at? I am. Okay. You are seriously nasty. Did I find it? Uh, yes, orders for Roglarg. Roglarg, captain of Kirithungol. Listen to me, worm. Unless you want to be given to the thing that stalks the tunnels beneath your command, you will maintain your position in the tower. I want Kirithungol defensible in the event Dolgabeth gets the upper hand. He seeks to ally with the Lady of Blight. 
and if that comes to pass, I will need Durathang and Kirathungal made ready. I think he has signed the order for his own death, but if I am wrong, I want to know Udun and Hlingris are secure. Ugrakor, Captain of the Pit, and Lord of Mordor. Okay. Oh, wait, I was supposed to eavesdrop on them? No, this is a... Hang on. Don't even. We're not even going there. No. 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 Okay. Intercept a message near Fushambal. Okay, great. So that did it for Lingris. Okay, down, take a left, and then bang a right. No problem. Okay. Right. Okay. So, again, of course I can no longer hear the orcs. I killed them all. Um, yeah. So, that the lieutenants of Sauron would fight for supremacy after his death. Makes sense. Again, totally down with that. But they all seem to be acting as if each other are literally the only thing they have to fear and not say like the hostile enemy army that has moved in. I mean, has there even been an illusion to the elves and Gondorians that are, you know, that are attacking the, the land? I mean, I don't think, I don't think there is. It's, it's, that's the part that I'm having a hard time with, right? Now, again, you could say, well, all right, they have to, they're strategizing in order to, like, build any possible defense against the Gondorians, right? I mean, like, their only hope of, of winning the war, which Sauron has already lost himself, is to, you know, consolidate their positions. And so if they all splinter and fracture... Uh, you know, with their all, all of their, you know, with their own little separate forces, then, you know, then where, where, where will they be? So it makes sense for them to consolidate. To which I would say, okay, and I certainly wouldn't expect them to be like, oh, let's all hold hands and cooperate, um, you know, in the face of the enemy. They're bad guys. And they all want to be lord, and, and there's going to be infighting, even when it doesn't necessarily make sense. Again, I'm fine with that, too. I just feel... I don't know. I mean, maybe I would get a clearer sense of it. I probably will get it. I look forward to going through Mordor with Grifflet. Um, for those of you who don't normally watch me on Friday afternoons, Grifflet is my uh, Hobbit burglar whom I've been streaming on Friday afternoons for the last, like, seven years, and um, Grifflet is doing a completionist run um, by quests, not by deeds and everything else, but um, he's doing a completionist run uh, through uh, all of the quests of Middle-earth, and um, he's in Gondor right now, so he's not too far away, but he's not there yet. Anyway, um... Wait, what? I just lagged myself right off the bridge, huh? What is happening? Now I lagged myself up almost onto the boulder. What is this, Wigan sneaking up? Can I run up over here? There we go. These guys are friendlies now? Okay. Anyway, but you see what I mean? Like, I, I have a... Oh, yeah, sorry. So my Grifflet stream is through... Yeah, it's through, it's on the Lotro official channel. Um, uh, so, yeah, if you go to the Lord of the Rings Online official channel, and I stream on that on Friday afternoons. Um, so that's why, like, I'm ignoring all the side quests. And so, doubtless, when Grifflet comes through here, and there are... Okay. Hey, do you, would you possibly... Oh, you might. Great. Would you mind fighting me in the company of several other people? I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, that's really helpful. Oh, 
Look at all this help I'm getting. I'm guaranteed to get, you know, a certain amount of... Seriously, I'm like, highlighted those... You know, the targeting leaves a little something to be desired. I was like fighting the dudes way over there. Okay. Question is, did I... Uh, looks like I did. I've got like a ton. And I got two acceptances from Ugrahor. Lyra the Stained, Lady of Blight, I hear your call, but I do not trust it. I am afraid of no man or beast, but I know better than to pass beyond the walls of Saragost. I will attend the meeting you have called, but not in your own fortress. Let the masters meet in Dorthang, my own stronghold, and I will set aside my distaste for you and your kind, and will hear what you have to say. Cordially, Ugrahor, Captain of the Pit and Lord of Dorthang. Okay. Yeah, wow, that uh, AoE really drew people from about 10 miles away, didn't it? Okay, would you get out of my quest tracker? For crying out loud. Okay. Um, so, the only one left is the one down there. I shall continue my tour then. So that guy was going to attack. He's just he just takes his time because he has to do a lot of posturing first. I think that's what happens. All right, well that's plenty for me to get past them and keep on moving. Yeah, I could filter it and stuff. I just I don't like I don't like filtering things because then like I, you know, Someday I'll want it, you know, or whatever. And then I'll forget that I filtered it and I'll be like, why can't I see it? Yeah, it won't bother me because yeah, it was only popping up in Lingerus there, so. I'll be able to stop it. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Copy to Pasty says, I just wanted to mention that your episode with Bear McCreary was awesome. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. He's amazing to talk to. Please have him back each season if he's up for it. Yeah, um, actually, not only that, but what we're hoping for. So at the end of his interview, you may remember he mentioned the blog posts that he's going to be posting. He's going to do an episode-by-episode -episode, uh, detailed blog post uh, sort of discussing the score for each of the eight episodes of Season 1 of Rings of Power. And um, uh, Maggie and I love that kind of deep dive. Um, and the music was a particularly fascinating element of the, uh, uh, a particularly fascinating element of the, the adaptation in Rings of Power. So we are hoping actually to have him, we're going to try to get him back if we can. Um, we're going to do a series next year, like in 2023, when his blog posts are posted. Um, and we're going to do a series discussing those blog posts, um, and, you know, doing a kind of a deep dive into the music. Uh, and um, so that'll be a lot of fun. And we're hoping to get him back at least once more during those discussions. So we will um, we'll see how that goes. Of course, we're um, uh, our aspiration is to what we're going to ask to see is because, I mean, obviously he loves this stuff and he is putting and is going to be putting um he said he's written them already. So he has already put a great deal of time and energy into um, uh, the blog posts that he's going to be making. Um, so we're going to see if he would like to join us for that discussion. So, um, so we'll see. We'll see how many we'll see how many times he is uh, willing to join us for those discussions later on. But um, yeah, well, okay. So I gotta go in here and then I gotta take a right. Ah, what is? Are you kidding me? What the heck? The bridge just vanished and it dropped me into the lava. That is not okay. Where am I? Hello. Where am I? Up there. 
Oh, for the sake of Pete. Okay, so is the war steed the problem? Yikes. Okay. All right, let's do the... Tr <laughs> let's celebrate Wigan's untimely um, and lag-induced death um, by uh, um, doing the drawing. Let's see. What is it? Giveaway uh, draw? Okay. All right. And the winner is... Harrison Jones! Harrison Jones is the winner. Very good, Harrison Jones. Congratulations. We'll do another drawing soon. In fact, I'm notorious about forgetting to do these because I just get caught up in what I'm doing and I don't think about it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna set a timer. We're gonna do one every half hour for the rest of the day. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations, Harrison Jones. Are you still here? I can whisper you the... Uh... Let's see. Let's see. Did that work? I don't know if I know how to send whispers properly. Here, Druid's Fire, can you help me with this? I don't have time to figure this out. I'll send you the code, Druid's Fire. Here's the code we're going to use. That'll help me keep track of them, actually, too. Okay. There you go. There's the code. If you could send that to Harrison Jones. Tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Now that I have commenced dying on the regular, give me just a second, and we'll go see Wenda. Okay. Man, it's so bright and cheerful in Bree. Does dying like that incur a repair bill? I'm not sure, Phil. You mean dropping into the lava? It might not. But I just figure, since I got randomly teleported off anyway, I might as well. I can get back to Agarnaith and then ride down from there. Okay, Wenda. Yeah, I will accept stuff. How can I be of service? Okay, there we go. So I've got my jug. I'm going to use the jug. There we go. Very good. Thank you, Enda. Now we'll be all set for a while. Can't I reuse the jug in six hours? No. Oh, nine hours. Yeah, the inventory bags are tiny on my screen. What can I say? Okay. All right. All right. So from here, back down to Talith Eroe. And we're going to take the third left and go back into here. I think that's all. Yep. Okay. Third left. 
Yeah, I, as you can see, I've like never done anything with my inventory bags. I just don't really bother. I kind of neglect my inventory. It's it's kind of habitual. All right. Oh wait, the buff lasts for fourteen days. I didn't know that. Oh, duration fourteen days. Okay, fine. I will ditch the jug then. Fine. Okay. How lovely. I thought it only lasted for five hours. Where did I see five hours? I don't know. Ashcronk. Oh, I remember this. This is where we went down. Did we go down there? Yeah, to that platform and had the visions. It's all coming back to me. All coming back to me. Oh, I see. They caved into com the complaints of the players and made it last 14 hours. Well, that was merciful of them. Okay. Anyway, but do you see what I mean about the plotline of Mordor? It's not a massive complaint. Like, I can deal with it. Especially since, particularly in the southern reaches of Mordor, the presence of the Gondorian army is, like, it's not yet really... Like, maybe you could say there's still enough time. Right, they've only just begun the invasion. Um, maybe there's still enough time for them to, uh, uh, you know, consolidate, decide who's going to be, uh, you know, the new Lord of Mordor, right, as they're all claiming, uh, and then yet be prepared to defend against Gondor's coming attack. It just feels... Since we're, you know, questing with Gondorians and elves all the time, um, it just it feels a little bit hard to reconcile the two. I guess maybe I just don't have a clear enough sense in my head of where we are in the process of invading Mordor. Um, that is, it seems to be. It seems to be acting more like um, a like we have been sent in to uh, I don't know like just to, to scout out Mordor before it's truly fallen. Okay, and a curiosity. Okay, so these guys are level one thirteen, so I'm on level. For these dudes. This quest is a yellow quest, huh? Oh, and I'm up to chapter four already. That's nice. Oh, excuse me, guys. Because you don't... No. My map tells me that you guys won't have the messages. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm infiltrating Mordor. Which I guess, you know, maybe it's a way to think about it. Oh, that was my horse. Hang on, last time I had good luck with guys at the bridge. Oh, sorry, I didn't. I uh, should probably change my angle to actually see how close I am to these dudes. Okay. That's fine. Also, I should probably remember to heal myself intermittently. I do have that ability. Even buffed it through my. Uh, see, did I? Ah, uh, no. No luck on the messages. Boy, I'm totally like, it's. I'm like, okay, I should stealth myself. No such luck. Wigan does not do stealth. Okay, on this side of the bridge. Oh, right, on this side of the bridge. We're getting there. Hang on. Just give me a second there. Gosh, hi, patroller. I'm just going to wait until... Hang on, i got to eat my food. See, I keep forgetting. I got all this tasty food. 
Okay, there we go. Great. Now, Mr. Patroller, if you wouldn't mind joining your colleagues over here, I'd really appreciate it. You're not gonna because you're rude. Oh, nice. Got him right away. Okay. Let's see. What does it say? My lord, I am writing once again as you requested. <laughs> <laughs> Your faithful correspondent writes once more uh, to report that the walking flame was seen once again near Nybrand. None know why she goes where she does, or if she is doing the horror's business when she is given to this wandering. But I will keep watching. She makes me uneasy. She looked right at me, though she was some distance away, and I felt a burning in my head. The message is not signed, but is covered in blood. The gosh high from whom you took the message must have wrested it from the original bearer in combat. Okay. I remain, as ever, your faithful correspondent. Okay, bring the intercepted messages to Hartholin by the eastward road in Agarnaith. By the eastward road. You're still in the middle of the swamp. Okay, good. That's excellent. All right, hey, uh, uh, Apost School. Um, been a fan of exploring the Lord of the Rings for some time. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Um, do we have a timeline that we follow? Um, wait, a timeline for exploring the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> no. No, exploring the Lord of the Rings has no timeline. We are discussing whatever we see and taking all the time we need to do it. The point of exploring the Lord of the Rings is that it has no timeline. Um, there are projections based on my pace so far. And those projections, uh, no, copy to paste, it will not be complete approximately 2030. Um, the latest projection was 2056. And that is, and, and I've actually, we're slower than that one. Um, but the good news is, um, I'm only, uh, we're still projected to finish by the time, uh, I'm still, I still project to be something like 80 um, when we finish exploring the Lord of the Rings. So that should be fine. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that is um, not the, um, so there's no timeline, but that's the, that's the projection. Uh, and Bruinier, that does not include the appendices. That is correct. That is the projection to get through the end of the um, the Grey Havens. Yep. Man, my uh, my chat keeps crashing. Yep, it is. It is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's exactly right. Um, that's exactly right. And for all of the people who say, you know, I've heard people have expressed disappointment that they are unlikely to survive until the end of, you know, like I will be dead before this class finishes. I'm sure that is true of many. Um, who knows? May even be true of me. <laughs> um, here's the way I encourage everyone to think of it. Exploring the Lord of the Rings. You will have exploring the Lord of the Rings for the rest of your life. What more could you ask for? Right? I mean, would you want to finish and be done with it? Right? And, uh, uh, you know, dust off your hands and say, well, now we've finished with the Lord of the Rings? No. It means you will get to, exp you know, discuss the Lord of the Rings for the rest of your life. Way more about the journey than the destination. Yeah, exactly. Yep, we never will have to deal with what to do the week after it ends. That's exactly right. We should set up a, a memorial for those who don't make it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've already been joking. There have been several babies born. Like we got, you know, a few baby birth announcements um, during 
you know the discussions of exploring the Lord of the Rings, and we've been um, we've been talking about like keeping a, a sort of a photo album, right, of the uh, you know a track with the age of the children who have been. Uh, I think one of the first babies born is. I mean, it's been going on for more than five years now. So, um, I think the first exploring the Lord of the Rings baby is about to hit kindergarten. So, um, but um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Exploring the Lord of the Rings, it's 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 a kind of parable, right? I mean, exploring the Lord of the Rings, it's not only like life. It is a picture like it is a picture of life, right? I mean, like my life for many, many years already has been exploring the Lord of the Rings. It's what I do. It's the life I live, right? So I mean to live that life until I'm done. But um, uh, but there you go. Um, yeah, no, it's not a bad life, Myth Lewin. Not a bad life at all. Um, yeah, you only exploring the Water of the Rings once. So true. So true. Um, yeah, it's been fun. I mean, I've been around for long enough now that, um, I mean, I've been doing the whole Tolkien professor thing for almost 15 years now. Uh, and so already that's enough time that, um, you know, I tend to get a lot of, uh, you know, meet a lot of adults who were like, you know, I was started listening to your podcast when I was in middle school and that kind of thing. So that's, uh, it's already fun. That will only get more fun as time goes on. Okay. We made it, Hartholin. That was, you know, some serious, uh, scavenger hunt action right there but it sounds to me that the masters are willing to meet but not in their rival strongholds all right these messages shed enough light on the situation for us to determine a course of action moldor mordor moldor moldor maybe i'm affected by the you know all the fungus in this area Mordor is tumultuous enough that each of the masters wishes to consolidate his power. They are willing to meet, but they do not wish to do so in any of their rival strongholds. I cannot blame them for this lack of trust. Indeed, it seems wise for each of them to exercise an abundance of caution. But they each want the ascendancy of Mordor. This meeting will happen. But where will they finally agree to meet? Should we just facilitate the meeting and help them all kill each other? Okay. I haven't... I, you've had an idea. Great. Okay. Each of the Masters of Mortars had walked this land. I missed that verb. Longer than either of us. And they know it's out-of-the-way corners better than we could ever hope to do. Even I, who fought during the Siege of Barad-dûr at the end of the Second Age and saw the shape of the land then, cannot pretend to the knowledge of those who seek to rule Mordor now. But there is one who has demonstrated such knowledge of this land to us. Do you remember? I do not trust him, for who truly could... But he has watched the movements of our enemies and knows somewhat of their motivations. I speak of Zagarog. The spirit in the stone may have seen more than we, and know of the place the masters will settle upon for their council. Ah, the platform that I was just talking about before, right? That's with the... Yes, it is. Okay, back we go. Yeah, there is kind of a running fungus thing, isn't there? All right. I'm going to stop war steeding and So it really did seem to be bridges that were the problem, right? 
Because, I mean, the war steed is faster. Alright, I'll just be careful with bridges. Okay. Oh, all right. Hang on here. Great. <laughs> Rivendell was merely training for Mortar of Bridges. Yeah, except I totally nailed the bridge. Didn't Rivendell it at all. It was not my fault. That's why I felt particularly robbed there, because, you know, Wigan does have a history of riding right off bridges, as he almost rode off that cliff up in the north there. But. Okay, hang on a second. We're there already, right? Yes, we are. Okay, hang on. All right. Sorry, I'm just getting a getting a snack here. Okay, that's what I wanted. Let's go down. I hope we don't have to fight too many fire grims in order to get there. You're an ash cronk. What is this? A little drakeling? Okay. There's a not as a regular Drake. Okay. Okay, Hartholin. Hi. There is silence in your mind for so long you begin to doubt that that Zagarog will speak to you. Then just as you are about to turn away, the presence returns. The questioning sea buffets you as before. Where will the masters seek to meet, you ask of the spirit? The only reply is silence. Have such meetings occurred before? You try again, but Zagarog does not reply. The questioning sea recedes, leaving behind only sand and silt. Skeletal fish wriggle madly on the dry bed, gasping and dying. Well, this um, questioning sea is getting less metaphorical all the time. Or maybe the metaphor is getting more detailed. It's like an allegorical sea. Okay, so if it's a questioning sea, then the uh, wriggle, skeletal fish wriggling madly on the dry bed represent what? Um... If the whole sea is a sea of questioning, are those particular wriggling fish uh, the, like, dying, flopping particular questions that you're asking? Um, maybe. Okay, then you notice their number. Nine fish die in the water's absence. The presence of the dark in the darkness that is Zagarog watches you closely and the fish are gone. A sudden flash of light blinds you with its brilliance, and you recognize a flat space with sparse trees near many falls. In the southern reaches of Lingris, oh great. Hateful chittering fills your ears, and you know there is a malevolent creature behind you, but you are unable to turn and face it. Then you hear the voice of Atli Spiderbane, and you know that he hunts the creatures that stalk you. No, creature, singular, that stalks you. Zagarog makes his demand, and his desire fills your mind and echoes in your ears. Kill, he says. Okay, kill who? The spider dude? So there's nine fish dying. Okay. Right. What was the nine, though? Okay. Uh, Lingris, way down there, huh? 
Okay, so there are some stable masters though, right? Okay, there's one up here. And then is there a stable master? No, and I don't have the cure with only one, I don't think. Whoa. Dude. Sorry, getting distracted. Okay. Um, fastest thing would be... Probably this one then, right? Okay. All right. Then what, what I'm going to do, because this will skip me, I'll get to skip the bridges this way. Go back to the camp. Okay. Back to the camp. And back to the stable master here. only place. Let's see, I don't remember even where Maga Ashtu is. Ah, that's just where I wanted to be. Okay. No, 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 no. Hang on. I'm going to get on my war steed. Right, yeah, I know I, Wigan is not ready for Minas Morgul yet. Okay, so I'm going down and I'm taking my... I just keep to the right and not run into rocks like that. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I don't think the nine fish were symbolizing the nine Nazgul dying. I wouldn't think. I mean, maybe. It's a little, be a little bit funny. Like, since the nine Nazgul are dead, that the dying fish represent the nine Nazgul, and so therefore Morgul Vale. Oh, that's very cunning, stunned duck. The waters recede, and there are nine dying things flopping around. So that means she was trying to tell us to go to the Ford of Bruin Inn. Of course. Of course. All right. So. <laughs> Frodo and Sam weren't ready, but that didn't stop them. Stop being a wimp and go for it. I hear you, man. I hear you. I wouldn't hold back if there were a need. But um, it does suggest that as swifter forms of like transport are concerned, it probably wouldn't be. Okay, so bear right at the intersection. Okay. Okay, no, this isn't a bridge, it's a slope. Great. Okay, up here in Talith Erui. Alright, this is where I came down, isn't it? Pretty sure. You're right, Hologros. Frodo and Sam did get XP from side quests along the way, unlike Wigan, so. Fair enough. Speaking of which, do I still have. I don't better kick another XP boost. There we go. Because this quest is level 115. It's fine. And level 115 is cap in Mordor, right? 
Okay, let's see if this bridge holds out okay. Here's hoping. Whew. Okay. Now, bear left. Okay. We've got some random spiders. Which was only to be expected. So, but we're going to come up here. And we're going to take a right and then a left. I think I was up here before, wasn't I? This all looks vaguely familiar. Right. And then a left. And I think I'm going to dismount now. Yeah, I'm pretty close. All right. Okay. And my alarm is going off. That means it is. Hang on. That means it is time. Let's do another giveaway. Okay. So put Raffle in the chat and we'll give away another code for another gift pack. I will close it in 10 minutes. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm just finding the area. And it's Oh, here we are. Oh, this is a lovely meeting spot with the poisonous green waterfalls in the background. It's a good place for, like, a picnic. And who's this? Atley! Oh, no! I almost killed it, but now it returns. Oh, you did almost kill it. Thank you, Atley. Boy, I totally, like, I feel like I just, like, was kill-stealing there, Atley. I just I had to barely breathe on it. Thank you for finishing the job. That was quite a fight. I bet it was. I am so glad they brought back Atley Spider's Bane. It just makes me so happy. Okay. Um... Talk to Zacharog outside the caverns again? That's it. Oh, this was not the meaning place. This was his price. So, like, for some reason, Zacharog wanted that dude, that spider dude, dead. I see. Fine. Um. Okay. I'll go back and talk to Zacharog again. Yeah, at least Spider's Bane is from Archit. Way back at the beginning. Whoa! Okay, we're here, yeah? Yes. Okay. Zacharag, you are so convenient to the milestone up there at Agonite. Uh oh, who's attacking me? The fumarole? Somebody's chasing me. Oh, it's the ally of the funeral. He's sending all his friends after me. We good now? Okay. All right, watching stone. Unlike your previous visit, Zagarog does not make you wait this time. He is 
present immediately with a hungering and eager need. The spider is slain, you say, and Zagarog's confusion is apparent. You see the hidden gully and Lingerus once again, and feel the stalking shadow, and hear Atlee's spider's bane bellow his battle cry. A feeling of great insistence spears at you over and over. The spider, you say once again, and Zagaron responds at once the dwarf. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not killing Atlee's spider's bane. No way. You are buffeted by disappointment and anger. The spirit's rage is a crushing ceiling that presses down on you. Hang on. Um, Zagarog, just, just a moment. I'm just, okay. There we go. Where were we? Uh, the spirit's rage is a crushing ceiling that presses down on you. It is a cauldron of boiling fire that scalds you. It is a torrent of icy rain that freezes and pierces your skin. It passes. And Zagarog's rage is replaced with a sullen resentment. Where will the masters meet, you ask once again, and Zagarog shows you the nine dying fish, inexplicably and inexorably breathing their last. Finally, the images fade, and your feet are compelled to walk to the northwest. Zagarog remains, nursing his disappointment, but you are confident that he has given you what you need. Walk to the northwest, like straight from here, in a straight line. Yes. Yes. Oh, seriously, I'm not defeating fumaroles. No. Um, oh, yeah. Straight to the northwest. Okay. Well, maybe not quite straight. Oh, man, I've got to do platforming. Mount Doom fills your vision, and you know at once the Masters will meet on the slopes of Orange Ruin. Okay. Great. Up by the road to Nagroth? Oh. Right. She's back over there. Okay. Mount Doom. Makes sense. Good meeting place. Nice central location. Of course. Yeah. How did I not? I feel the same way. Ordruin stands between the lands the masters of Mordor have claimed for themselves, and on the slopes of Mount Doom, they will feel most secure from the treachery of their rivals. That is where the meeting will take place. I am certain of it. Me too. You will need a disguise of some kind if you are to attend the meeting in secret. Okay, it'll be easier to gain access to this meeting in the open air than it would be to pass the guards of Saragost or any of the fortresses of Mordor. I've been in most of them, but that is not to say it will be a simple matter. You will need a disguise of some kind to get near to any of the masters without their knowledge. But what sort of raiment will serve that purpose, I cannot say. Mithrandir, seriously, go back to Minas Tirith, ask Gandalf, and then come back? For real. Well, it's a good thing I thought ahead on that point, is all I have to say. Okay. Fine. Back to Mithrand here. It's like I knew you would ask me to do that. It's like I knew. A pair of sunglasses and a fake mustache would work for me. Whoa. Ah. Oh, man. Something horrible has happened to Minas Tirith. Oh, okay. Phew. It's better. That was awful for just a minute. I thought a terrible stroke indeed had befallen the city. Did Gandalf move? No. He's still standing where he was. It's a good thing you were in such a hurry to get to Minas Tirith, Gandalf, and now you're just standing around. What brings you back to the city? Have you learned if Lydreth is near to achieving her goal? You tell Mithrandir that, Har that Harthalin is studying the effects of Athalos on the samples you collected in Agarnaith. Well, she, well, she's field testing the samples. Better her than me. But that you have learned a meeting of the Masters of Mordor will occur on the slopes of Oridruin. Masters of Mordor just keeps sounding to me like uh, Masters of the Universe. 
You intend to gain access to this meeting? You might learn much that would be of use, but it will be very dangerous. You will need raiment of disguise if you are to avoid detection. Ah, I know what will serve. The Gurus Yul, and indeed many others in Mordor, rely upon their slaves for labor and the many menial tasks that keep the iron wheel of Gorgoroth turning. As a result, obedient slaves often pass beneath notice. I suspect that the masters of Mordor do not even see them, though they rely upon their presence. If you were to obtain the rags worn by the freed Nurnhoth that were brought to the city, a tailor in Minas Tirith might be able to fashion a suitable disguise for you. I lost... I last saw some of the freed Nornhoth on the northeast side of the Third Circle, trying to become comfortable in their new home. I will meet you at Kirith Gorgor when you have arranged for a disguise with the tailor. I thought he was. I was just going to go ask them for their. Ra I guess I'm. I guess I'm just going to hoof it. So as I recall, yeah, it's this way. Um. I thought we, I was just going to go to the Nornhoth and ask for their rags, but no. I'm going to go to them to get some sartorial advice, which I'll then bring to a professional tailor who is going to kit me out in Mordor chic. Right? Mordor slave chic is apparently the idea. Some sort of skin bleaching might be in order? Yeah, I hear that. Man. Streets of the first tier not looking great. Where's the ramp? Ah, here it is. I knew it was around the corner somewhere. Yes, but I do need counterfeit filthy rags. I, I do need a tailor for counterfeit filthy rags, obviously. But, um, but at the same time, I mean, like, seriously, Wigan has sartorial standards. You think he's just going to go out in, like, off-the-rack filthy rags? No, 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 no. Custom-tailored filthy rags are what he really insists upon. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you like a makeup artist would be more suitable than a tailor. All right. The time is up. So, um, last chance. I'll give you like I'll give you until I find the Nurnhoth, which is hopefully will be less than fifteen minutes. Um, if you haven't uh, sign up for the raffle, so hit exclamation point raffle with no space in between to enter yourself in the drawing, and I will draw the winner as soon as I find the Nurnhoth. Which I am going the right way. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Look at this one guy with his pickaxe. Keep at it, dude. Okay, and then sneakily around the corner. Yeah, there we are. Awesome fried okra. And by the way, I'm a northern boy. You know, I've I, I've been to the south several times, but I, I've always lived uh, north of the Mason-Dixon line, and I therefore just can't really enjoy okra. Um, but I finally had fried okra when I was in Texas and it changed my opinion. Fried okra is fantastic. Okay, here we are. Hey there, Nurnhoth. Are you guys okay? Like, are you wearing some sunblock and stuff? Cause I gotta tell you, y'all are gonna burn like nobody's business in this sun right now. Hi, Italy. No, you won't. They're not going to send you back, Italy. You're fine. How about you, Aram? We are doing the best we can. Sounds like Italy throwing his voice. What a husky voice Aram has. You are not here to send us back to Mordor? Of course not. Huja? Huya? Huya! is what I shall call this person, listens to your request, and slowly his look of fear is replaced with caution. You do not want to do this, Wigan. Aram in Italy were in the service of Ugrakor's table, and the tales they have told of his cruelty are beyond belief. If you try to deceive him, you will be found out, and death could not come swiftly enough for you. 
I retained the clothes I wore in servitude, for some part of me believed I would not long be free of it. There was a part of me, too, that feared to dispose of them. Why? The reason must appear foolish to you, but I thought if I no longer had them at hand, I would forget the time I spent in servitude, or the family and friends I lost in those years. I will give them to you for this reason, Wigand, that you will use them to help put an end to Ugrakor and the others like him, for Aram and for Itli, and for their families and mine. May they be of use to you. That is the clothes, not Aram and Itli. They're staying here because they really don't want to go back. And I will try not to feel their loss over much. I mean the loss of the clothes. Aram and Itli, as aforementioned, are remaining here. It will not be easy, but it will be worthwhile if this act helps free my people and puts an end to their misery and torment in Mordor. With some reluctance, but with a hopeful smile, Huya gives you a bundle of rags. Uh, where? I don't have a bundle of rags. It's not my loot, is it? Bundle O rags. Uh uh. Boy, if there's one thing I don't want on my inventory, it's curious goo that I got from squishing diseased things in Agatha Knife. Um. Okay. So I don't have them, but that's okay. So everything's fine. Bring the Nornoth clothes to line. Okay. Hang on, wait, I found them and then I forgot. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Let's do the drawing. And here we go. Oops. Sorry. Typo. Okay. Hey, hey, Phil Boswell wins. Congratulations, Phil. See, look at that. You stayed up late and it paid off. Woohoo! Well deserved, Phil. Well deserved. See, I'm, uh, I love this, Phil, because um, the southeastern side. All right, just keep going back. Um, you know, if uh, I'd been rolling my dice or something, which I sometimes do for drawings, if I'd been rolling my dice and uh, had rolled on, had had selected you, I'd have felt guilty, like. People were thinking I was, you know, just rewarding you for all of the help you so often give during my broadcasts. But there it is. Like, Moobot did it. Okay, so here we are. Is there a tailor who is familiar with the fashion of slaves in Mordor? Yes. Do you have something that would fit over my plate mail, do you think? Line. Oh, no, that's just not the key I wanted. That's the idea, yeah. Are you sure you do not prefer the latest city fashions of the city itself? These are a little more than dirty rags. Yeah, yeah, please send me in the latest fashions. A yours and followed you to the tailor, and now he seeks to get your attention. Um, not very hard. Oh, there he is. Hey there, a yours and. Still the wily. You are up to something, Wigand. I overheard your dis your directions. I'm oh, sorry, he's got a whinier voice. I overheard your directions for the tailor, and there can only be one reason for you to wear the clothes of the Nornhoth. You plan to sneak into one of the fortresses in Mordor. Do not deny it. Ayorzin knows whatever you may say would be a lie. He is often called Ayorzin the Perceptive, after all. Ayorzin looks from side to side and shifts his weight from one foot to the other. When he speaks again, the words come in a rush and a tumble, as if he were embarrassed to speak them. There are none in this city that Ayorzin would consider a friend, but you may be nearest to that lofty prize, Wigand. If you do not if you do not get yourself killed climbing the walls of Saragost or rattling the bars of Nyrebrand, you might hope to achieve my friendship in time, but Ayorzin does not befriend corpses. Good to know, but maybe we should stop the revelation of personal information right now, Ayorzin. Ayorzin speaks more softly now, and his words are earnest in a way you have rarely heard from the Kundalar chief. I think you are a fool to attempt this, but I will share something with you and hope that it may improve your chance of survival. The bosses may pay no heed to their servants or their slaves as long as they are obedient. That will change in an instant if the servant disobeys. You must do whatever you are commanded to do, or they will see through your disguise. Should you serve... 
This should serve you well with Ugrakor, Dulgabath, or any of their minions. But there is one you should beware in any circumstance. Whatever Urodani has become, I do not think she will be blinded by your appearance. She may be more sensitive to your deception. You must try and keep away from Urodani at any cost. She's the fiery one, right? I have done all I can do, Wigand. It is more than anyone else would do, but this city is confusing and unpleasant, and if I am stuck here, I would rather have... I, w I would rather have someone such as you to hear my complaints. Keep that in mind when you sojourn on your foolish errand, and let it inspire you to subtlety. Okay. Oh, good. In the meantime, he talked for so long that I got the clothes. All right. Talk to Mithrandir. All right. Thanks, folks. Okay, oh, hang on, Phil. I gotta send you a prize here. Rather. Okay, right, sorry, I'm still not doing the giveaways quite right. Okay, great. Okay, I did forget to close it before I did the draw. Okay, but that's fine. All right, so where am I going? Where what's happening now? I need to head to. How do I get down? This way. By which I mean this way. Okay. Yeah, a Yorzen is growing on me. Definitely growing on me. Okay, so... Right. I'm looking not for the left-hand turns, the right-hand turns. Okay, down to the second circle. And then around to the first circle. And don't forget, folks... It is Signum University's fundraising campaign. Um, we rely so much on the support of our listeners and our community. The Signum community has been an awesome, awesome place from the beginning. In fact, we've already raised $75,000 towards our annual fund this year already um, in gifts and pledges. Really, really exciting. Um, we had a banner year last year, and it has helped our growth so much. Um, one of the things, of course, about Signum is that we try as hard as we can to keep all of the, the you know, we do as much as we can for free, um, like all of the broadcasting I do every week, for instance. Um, and the things that we do have to charge for because we need to pay our teachers and such like that, um, we try to keep our tuition prices as low as we possibly can. Um, we have very low tuition prices especially well it's I, it's not even doesn't even make sense to say like compared to most universities that's like a really bad measuring point um but um anyway uh uh, but anyway, we, we try to keep our prices as low as we possibly can. It's our cunning business strategy to charge our customers as little as we can possibly get away with charging. But what that means is that we do have a lot of expenses that we need help covering. Um, we always are able to cover the cost of our teachers and things like that from the tuition that we raise. Um, but there are so many other costs to Signum's infrastructure um, and just to enable all of the things to happen that are happening at Signum, both that have happened and that are in development. Um, and that's where uh, people's donations uh, just make such a big difference. Signum existed for many years as an almost completely volunteer institution. Um, where we were able to, teach, to pay our faculty, but we were able to pay very few um, of the uh, other folks who were uh, d doing so much work. Oh, talk to him at... Oh, well, I didn't even notice. Here, I thought he was down here still. 
Anyhow, um, so uh, so yes, I just am uh, am so thankful for the support of our folks. We have a lot of people who make monthly donations. So go to signumuniversity.org slash support and you will find the links to um, uh, the uh, the donation page where you can make a donation through our web form right there. You can start a regular donation. That is, you can make a, a one-shot donation or you can... Um, uh, or you can make a recurring donation. Many people do monthly subscriptions, uh, and it is just uh, that is just enormous, uh, enormously helpful uh, for our budgeting purposes and everything. Really, really grateful to everybody who helps with that. Um, yeah, so that's not the way to go. Anyway. Um, so and and of course, Signum is a tax exempt organization. So all uh, all donations to Signum University are hundred percent tax deductible. I, uh, I I encourage you if you you know for, uh, to consider you know to consider including Signum in your charitable giving plans. We have people who have set up um, you know if you're if you're work has a uh, a donor matching program. Many of them do. Um, we have several people who have. Um, donor, like, uh, you know, uh, employee, employer matching systems in place. Um, and uh, those are really cool. Sometimes, uh, you know, we can, we can help get those set up if you need to or whatever. So. There we go. And yes, you can also sign up, use Signum as your charity and Amazon Smile if you use Amazon Smile. Okay, Mithrandir, what's up? Total, we did. It seems the meeting is soon to commence. We've returned just in time, huh? For it seems the meeting is soon to commence. Spies have reported large enemy groups moving towards Ordruin from different strongholds in Gorgroth. They appear to be making for Amonthar, a structure on the side of Mount Doom. Well, yeah, as that's all that's left. Are you prepared? Speak to me when you are ready to leave. But, oh, a little instance here, huh? But do not take too long. Time is short, and you must not miss the meeting. Don't worry. I'm not going to miss the meeting. Hang on one second here. Okay. All right. Let's do it, Gandalf. Set. Talk to Gandalf. Exercise caution. No worries. Let's see if I can do this instance the first time. Remain alert. You go among our enemies. You'll be in grave danger if you are discovered. Looking at Wiggins Cosmetics here. It's not bad. I kind of like the Nurnhoth rags. Okay. Um, present yourself to the Knight of Dolgabath at Amonthar. Avoid getting too new, too near to Urudani, or she will see through your disguise. Okay. You are an oddly proportioned fellow, Knight of Dolgabath. You did not arrive with the others. Do you not fear the lash? It is no concern of mine. Climb the stairs and look for the others of your kind if you dare. Dolgabeth will deal whatever punishment he deems sufficient. I look forward to the music of your screams, slave. Okay. Going. Here we go. Oh, hang on. i got to set my timer. In another half hour, we'll do another giveaway. Okay. It's Yadafal. I feel like I've fought you before. Maybe I just fought people dressed like you. Okay, this is cool. Where am I exactly? Uh, okay. Not too far from the seventh hour. 
Is that a Rudani? I'm gonna avoid anybody who appears to be made of fire. Hey, hang on guys. Maybe I can spring y'all. What did the mistress give to me? Slaves, do not linger here. Thy master's call for thee. No choice. It's okay, man. I think I got some Athelos somewhere in my pocket. Hang on. We're walking. We're walking. He knows the time that was chosen. Oh, that's Dolgabeth, yeah? Yeah. So that's the mouth. And there's a... Whoa! Baron Ghost the Who? Do all the Gurzul feel the passage of time so keenly? Urudani shall be grateful I freed her from these bond, from those bonds. Who's this dude? Ugrakor will pay for this. Ugrakor is the orc captain. You know he will, my love. Oh, she's a... There's Lyrath. You must have patience. So that's Borognos the Horror. Okay, Lyrath is stained. Delgabeth. Yes, oh, there's Ugrakor. Didst thou lose thy way? I came out of respect for Lyrath and of Borognos. Borongos. Have your say and be done with it, worm. Oh, I will have it, and thou wilt hear me. Okay. And now you're gonna just walk away? We're all... What are we? We are met at Amanthar, a place of great significance. It was here that Lord Sauron bound the Nazgul to his will. Oh, really? Whenever the Nine were defeated, it was to Amanthar they returned. Oh, that's fun. This is where they came after Rivendell. Now our master is gone and the Nazgul with him. We are met here to fashion the new order. Great though our powers be, we do not possess the strength of Lord Sauron. We cannot rule singularly. It is an evil red circle. It is with the, this, with that in mind that Lyreth has proposed a union. She and I will wed, and together we will become the regents of Mordor. We will be your evil mommy and daddy. Is that so? Where do you stand, Borangos? He kind of hovers, really. And he's hovering all over the place. Do you support this union? If he does not, he will face the wrath of both Hlareth and the heir of Sauron. I wonder... Hmm, the ponderings of the floating devil spirit. I have a gift for you. I have a gift for you, my love. One of my slaves carries it. Let me retrieve it for you. Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, he's that guy. No, not me. No. Um. Something is wrong. A pouch drops from his hand. Okay, I'll bring it to you. Lyrath barely looks at you as she takes the pouch from your hands. Stay here, slave. I may have further use for you, she says, an unmistakable air of menace in her voice. Great, for experimental purposes. Stay here and you may remain useful. There's Urdani over there, yeah? I need no gift but thy loyalty, Lyrath. Now comes my first command as Mordor's regent. 
Seize Ugrakor, my knights. I order he be put to death. Oh, this will go well. Wait, says Lyreth. Okay. Oh, we're waiting. There will be no union. Okay, hang on a second. We're not, we're not actually doing a... I don't know why it's doing the thing. I reset the... I don't know. Sorry. Vengeance! Oh, no! She stabs Dolgabeth! Oh, dove! Oh, cruel! I am the last of my kind! Oh, for my long and loyal service, Sauron promised me a child! Oh, the humanity! One child only, he said to me. But after my victory is complete and my rule stretches from the Sundering Sea to the uttermost east, now that victory will never come all because of your cowardice, pitiful mouth of Sauron. Really? It's all his fault? Gondor brought swords to the Black Gate and you ran! Well, I see. Sauron's heir? No, you are Sauron's undoing! Wow, you're really just laying all the blame on him for the loss of the Black Gate? You failed, Sauron. I will not. You ran from Gondor, and you ran from Sauron, but you could not run from me. Okay. Wow. Who here possesses a better claim than Lyreth? There are none. Okay, what does Ugrakor think about this? I claim dominion over Mordor. Who will swear fealty to Lyreth? It will be my pleasure to do so, says Ugrakor. Okay. Borongos, still pensive. Borongos hovers pensively. This amuses me. I, too, will swear thus. Okay. Because it's funny. I have business with another who failed Sauron. Is that Urudani, or is that me? <laughs> he hides now within Minas Morgul. Oh. Who's that? I want his head. Who are we talking about? Now, my subjects, bring death to my foes. You have learned much, but now you should escape down the stairs before you're discovered. Okay. Off we go. Escape down the stairs. Udani was safely on the other side. Oh, Mordorith? Woohoo! Completed it first shot. Alright, Gandalf, that was eventful. Mordor has reunited. I, I do you learn what to do. You learn much of value at Amon Thaur, but it has not eased my worries. Indeed it has caused them to increase in potency. Where before the masters of Mordor vied among themselves for control, and it seemed they might waste years on their infighting, now they have set aside many of their differences, at least for the time being. This is the worst outcome for Gondor, my friend. Mordor has been united beneath a common purpose. I, I do not know what to do. His words hang in the air, unexpected and unwelcome. I need to think, my friend. I will call for you when I have decided what can be done. It cannot be long, it must not. Lyrath and her allies will not wait for us to be ready. Okay, hang on, you keep thinking, Gandalf. Meanwhile, what have I got? I've got some more. Some more runes. I've got a tracery. What's this one? Catch breath, cool down, and heal. I already have that one. That one's plumb useless to me now. Um, ah. Some cosmetics. Which 
ones are these? The helm of the Great Alliance. Is the Great Alliance gear? Oh, I can't get rid of this one. This is too traditional. What do you think? I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to equip it. I mean, the Nornhoth stuff is cool, but... Okay, anyway, sorry, Gandalf. I've given the situation some thought, but a Mordor united against us does not lend itself to easy solutions. Before the meeting of the Masters, I feared the ascendancy of Dolgabeth, the, the mouth of Sauron. Now he is dead, and there are others arrayed before us, wielders of powerful weapons and forgers of unexpected alliances. Hlyreth the Stained, Borangos the Horror, Ugrachor of the Gurzul. These names... Oh, I thought he was an orc. Okay, I see. These names are not to be feared individually, but when they share our destruction as a common purpose, we must fear them. We must not fear them, we must fight them. Rather, let the masters of Mordor fear us. Are we not united against them? Scouts of many lands and many backgrounds adventure even now in Gorgoroth, and they pursue knowledge that might bring about the undoing of these masters. Seek first Gwethir of Gondor, near the ruins of Dingarth in Dor Amarth, and then look for Hartholin, west of Faltor Gam, in Agarnaith. On your way back to me, pass through Talath Urui and consult with Thenka of the Rohirrim. These three reports may help us to form an effective strategy. Okay. No problem. What was this called again? Dingarth, right? So he's right there, and that's easy. Where are the other ones? All right, I'll just do them one at a time, I guess. Okay. So let's see. All right, 15 minutes to the next giveaway. This one I can stable master to, and that's easy enough. I do have mithril coins, and I'm not afraid to use them. Come, come. But since this one's right there, are we taking a bio break anytime soon? Yeah, eventually. We will get to that point. Okay, oh, he's like right here. Like in the camp. Uh, no, it's Ingold. Good old Ingold. I forgot you were here. Yeah, but no, not you. You're up the hill towards Slingerous. Okay. <laughs> Bill and the Wise asks, am I going to sleep for the entirety of December? Tempting. Tempting. Um, but no, I've actually caught up on my sleep now. I'm doing okay. Oh, hang on. What? what, what where, where did I miss him? Why can I not turn? I am attempting to turn. I'm lagging again. What's going on here? Where did he go? Oh, he's on the slopes. Missed him. Okay. Okay, Gwethir. I did not expect to see you. Has this sudden movement of troops drawn your attention too? It is not? Then allow me to tell you what I have seen, and perhaps you will know what has caused it. Orcs and evil men have been stirred into sudden wakefulness by some directive that is unknown to me. 
Small groups of these foes have traveled across Udun and Doramarth since I came to this inhospitable place, but never in such numbers. I believe they received urgent orders from one of their leaders and has, and has compelled them to depart the Doomfold with some haste. But I cannot say where they have gone, for I do not know it. But this I do know. They go where they can do the most damage to Gondor or her allies. How can it be otherwise? Other scouts may know more. Go to them with speed to match that of our foes. Okay. Now where... Ah. Back in Agonorneith. Sure. I can get there too. All right. Ah, uh, first fish, you're playing, um, you're playing a hobbit brawler. I have to admit, I would actually kind of, I, I would kind of like to make a hobbit brawler. I don't really have time, but if I were to create a new character, I would be creating a hobbit brawler. All right, a little rubber banding, not too bad. Well, see, Druid's Fire, that was exactly what was in my head, that if I did end up wanting to see the, the new starter experience, in the new air, in the new zone, that um, that would indeed be my choice. Okay, landscape quest. I cannot be tempted. Whoa! I got rubber banded right through a giant mushroom. Okay, Harthorn. I see you. Hey there. Oh, hang on. Got a wolf. Ooh, a dire wolf. And I'm punching him in the head. Doing this without my sword. Because I can, apparently. What are you doing, Harthorn? You look like you're hold, putting your arm in a consolatory fashion around the shoulders of an invisible but short person. I encountered something most peculiar. I want to hear your thoughts. Really? Not far from here, I tracked a company of Ugrakor's orcs through the swamp, intending to surprise them at the right moment and make them corpses. Before, before such a moment presented itself, I was robbed of my prey. Another party fell upon the orcs and rented them out, rent, rent them all to pieces. The ambushers were Merivile. They swooped down from the height and left no orc alive. But I thought Ugrakor and Lyrith were allies. Why are their minions slaying each other? Hartholin smiles grimly. I do not complain, but there is something strange in this, and if we learn what has them at odds, we might turn it to our advantage. Okay. A Hobbit lore master would be a little tempting too, but I do have a lore master. Why does Gladio want to speak with me? Introduction to Northern Mirkwood. Okay. A little vector quest, a little free XP. I'll take that. Because I assume I'm going there anyway. Um. Okay, Harthlin. Yeah, no. Defeat many get big and flingris. No. Um. 
I'll leave you to talk to your imaginary friend here. Why am I still in combat mode? Is it still that uh, fungus I rode through? And why will it? Why is it not kicking in my milestone? Here we go, finally. Could have ridden back there in the time it took that to kick in. Okay, and then from here, south. Oh yeah, right along the road, we're, we're right nearby. These people aren't too hard to find. I mean, goodness, as uh, go speak to far-flung far -flung scouts quests are concerned this is uh this has been simple oh hang on blew right past him though sorry think I didn't see you there I said stop What's wrong with you? Man, the lag. What is wrong with the lag today? What's going on here? Hey there, think of, Oh, dear. Oh, a little arm wound, huh? At least it's not the unhappy triad. I am all right now. <clears throat> I engaged in battle with a party of orcs, but the fighting went against me and I sustained this injury. I thought my days were done, but the creatures did not stay to ensure it. Their leaders called them away before they made sure I would not recover. To think I would have names such as Plachash and Durklat to thank for my life, but that is now so. The orcs were looking for someone. They spoke of the Weeping Warrior as they departed. Their language is harsh and guttural. I could not make sense of much of their talk. But I think Ugrakor ordered them to find this warrior at any cost. They split into two groups as they left me, and Plachash and Durklat planned to return to Durthang and Kirith Ungol to regroup. Do not worry about me. I am mostly recovered from my injury. I give thanks to no orc, but still I am grateful that Ugrakor's minions feared his commands enough to leave me carelessly behind still alive. And back to Mithrandir. Okay. Rather than waiting for that to reset, this one I will use a mithril coin for. Oh, hey Gandalf. Boy, I like appeared inside the space you were occupying, I think, Gandalf. Sorry. This is why I like you, my friend. This is why oh. Gandalf's gonna tell me why he likes me. Before it seemed, the forces arranged against us had the upper hand, but now you return with information we can use to oppose our enemies. That's why you like me, because I return with information? Are you using me for my information and my scouting skills, Gandalf? What has caused this rift between Ugrakor and Lyrath? And for what fell purpose do Ugrakor's orcs seek the Weeping Warrior? In other words, you can't make anything of it either, huh? My information? Yes, I know the, of the one called Karaz, Karazgar, the Weeping Warrior. He is numbered among the Gurzul and has crossed my path before, though not for many years. I have known him to be active primarily in the east and in the north, but in times of great strife, I have heard reports that he was seen further afield and in unexpected places. I find it curious that none have seen him in Gorgoroth of late, and you did not see him at the meeting of the Masters. He is missing and his absence troubles me. Why did he not come to Gorgoroth with Sar when Sauron had need of him, as did others among the Gorzul? Why does Ugrakor seek him now, and for what purpose? Find one of the leaders of whom Thenka spoke, either Plakash or Durklat, and you may learn why they seek search for Karazgar. 
Thanka believe the orcs made for Durthang or Kirathungal. Go to one of those towers and compel the orc to divulge his orders. Phew. Let's go to Durthang. It's closer. All right, Gandalf. Will do. No problem. Okay. Hey there, welcome, Mr. Steve, on YouTube. So, um, oh, Louis Garo wants to know, what do I think of the Shadow of War game? Eh. So, I have a funny story about that. Um, I have not played either Shadows of War or Shadows of Mordor, or either Shadows of Mordor or Shadows of War. But, um, and I, but, but I, I, from everything I've heard, I'm not a, from a Tolkien lore perspective, I'm not a fan. Um, I have heard from many reliable sources that they are extremely fun games to play. But from a Tolkien lore standpoint, I have never uh, really respected them. However, as I said, I have a funny story. So let's see, Durthang. Oh, Durthang is the one in here. Right. Sure. That's the annoying one to get to. Okay. Um, okay, so here's the funny story. I have just recently been approached um, by the folks over at the Gameology YouTube channel who would like, who are asking me to do an, an Experts React video uh, as a Tolkien expert on video games. And... Uh, as soon as they asked me this, they didn't tell me which games they wanted. I asked them, but they, you know, they were kind of like, you know, confirming the plans for that. And, um, but as soon as I asked, I'm like, I know they're going to want me to do a react to like the Shadows of Mordor or the Shadows of War. And I was not wrong. So, yes. Um, so... At some point, I think, I'm not sure exactly when the shoot is going to take place, but at some point in the next year, um, some point in the next six months, probably, uh, first half of next year, I think, um, you will, you will get a chance to, um, let's see, I need to take a left, huh? Right. Okay. That's where I want to go. Um, you will, you will get a chance to, uh, see me react to Shadows of War in some detail. Uh, there's another game, though. I think it was uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest is the other one they wanted me to do. Um, so, yeah. That'll be fun. I'm going to be so good. So good. So yes, funny you should ask me that, Lewis. Okay, I got it uh, right and then up the steps here to do her thong. Yeah, these guys are what? Level 106, so they're pretty far below me right now. I've never played Lord of the Rings Conquest, actually. Okay. So let's see. Where's Plakash? I'm not going to get a. I just have to hunt through Dorthang for him. Guess I'll just do a survey. Is it you? Ah! Time for another drawing. So hang on, let me set this up before I get started with my hunt.
All right. Go ahead and type exclamation point raffle in the Twitch chat, and you'll be entered for the giveaway. Okay. Meantime, I'm just looking for a particular orc. I really wish that I had... I really wish that I had Griffith's help with this. Can't open this door? Not an openable door. Okay. Hi, guys! I thought somebody was shooting at me from over there. Let's see. Hang on. It's this one, right? No. Shift 3. Okay. All right. So none of you are Plakash, I guess. Oh, look. I'm going to accidentally, like, defeat all those... A bunch of... I'm going to accidentally complete another quest. Okay. He's on the west side. Typical where I can't go. All right. Hey, guys. If you wouldn't mind coming with me this way, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Enforcer guys are annoying. Okay, Mr. Sentry. Hey! There he is! Look at that! Is he facing a firing squad? Kind of looks like he's facing a firing squad. Hey, Plakash. Do you want me to rescue from your firing, rescue you from the firing squad? What did you hope to gain by coming here? A quick death? Plakash will be happy to give it to you, as he has given death to so many other fools who dared the fortress of Dorthang. Speak your last words, and I will spill your guts and inspect them for both fearlessness and foolishness. You're going to inspect my guts for fearlessness? You will stand You stand your ground and demand to know his business with the weeping warrior. Plakash bares his teeth and eyes you warily. Karazgar, eh? Why should I tell you anything, brazen man? Ugrakar wants him. Weeping warrior knows something about this artifact, Bugdaktish. And the captain of the pit is going to make him talk. My boys found out where he went. Hill of sorcery in the old woods, where the big bosses used to tramp. Ah, my boys have already set out, and I'll follow them next, but first I'll take care of you. I'll open you up and see what makes you bold enough to ask questions of Plakash. Okay, hang on a second. Um, Hill of sorcery in the old woods, where the big bosses used to tramp. Hill of sorcery? Like Minas Morgul? Huh. Now is my time to die. Oh, hang on a second. Can you kill me over here? I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Because now I can get two free archers in. As a bonus when I kill you. Excuse me, are any of you archers? No, nah, the ones on the, uh, the by the doors have probably reset. Thanks anyway. Oh yeah, they totally have. Come here. And you here. All of you. This will be great fun. There's 
Yeah, come over here and say that. Oh, seriously, I need one more archer. Well, I can't live that way. Oh, nice. You know, yellow line is kind of fun. All right. That did it, right? Hey, a little free XP. Speaking of which, it's time to renew both my XP boosts. Okay. Oh, sure. Now another one just regens right in the door. Well, you can forget it. And no, I'm not defeating sorcerers for fun. I'm really in Gandalf's personal space when I do that. I have not used my perks yet. I should do that. I'll uh, wait till I level up here and then I'll, I'll do my, my XP perks. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, Gandalf. Okay, I'm going to close the, the giveaway soon. So I'll just give a minute or two for people to finish up. So if you haven't yet, type exclamation point raffle and enter yourself in the drawing. In the drawing for those who've arrived late, um, we're doing this on the Twitch channel and we are giving away a, um, what are we giving away? A, a ketchup bundle, um, a Lotro ketchup bundle that has a whole bunch of goodies in it. Did you learn why Ugrakor seeks the Weeping Warrior, or where the orcs have gone in search of him? I see from your expression that you learned something of use, but perhaps not the entirety of what we sought. You recount what you were able to learn, and Mithrandir briefly considers the orcs' words. It is better than I feared. There are still gaps in our knowledge, but the orc has given us more than I expected. It appears that Ugrakor seeks to, expects to find Karazgor in the, at the Hill of Sorcery. A fr oh, the Hill of Sorcery in the woods, of course. Gotcha. A phrase used in relation to the fortress of the necromancer. Right. Of course. Dol Guldur. That must be where Karazgar has gone, and it would appear he searches for an artifact, something called Bugdatish. Bugdatish. I have never heard, never before heard this name, but that means little. There is room among the dark arts of Sauron for such mysteries. If you are to search for Karazgar at Dol Guldur, you will need to make haste. The Lord and Lady of Lorien have entered Markwood and prepare to raise the forest. Fortress, not the forest. Good grief, they're not going to raise the forest. The final mission of the Golden Host is underway. If you are to find the Weeping Warrior and get some answers about this relic he seeks, you must leave at once. Do not stand around gawking at me, Wigan. Go in quickly. Okay, off to Gladio and Celeborn. In the Goth Boers area of southern Markwood, huh? Okay. Woohoo! Uh, wait a second. Okay, hang on. So the perks. Accelerated experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll add those. Um,. Yeah, that's, I think that'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll wait till I work through this, and then I'll do those again. Yep, I had not forgotten those. Okay, where am I going? Southern Mirkwood. In Chapter 5, hooray! Okay. Um, so that's it. 
I'm kind of done with the Mordor story because I'm headed up to Mirkwood now. Now I can get there. Let's see. Let me find the best way to get there. I can go back to Minas Tirith. I can go to Bree. How about that? Can you get to, um, what's it called? Can you get to, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go to South Bree. It's a good place to start. No, not Oscar Ruth. Wrong one. Nope, nope, I can find it. Let's see. I'm going to stable master my way to Karas Galathon. Then I can take the boat from there. Okay. So here we are at the West Gate of Bree. From here, I'm going to go to the South Gate of Bree. What are my thoughts about accelerated travel in the game, Matt? Um, yeah, it's so. Well, here's the problem. What do you need? Hang on a second. Let me see what I can find here. It's a long scroll here. Uh, Great River. Can I get there from uh, Rivendell? You know, I always forget about the Stable Master map. Where is it? How do I can't even remember how to get there? Where do I where do I go for the uh, map? No, it's not on the map, is it? Where is the Stable Master map? Is it in collections? Oh, right. I always forget this. Okay, look at all the Stable Masters. Okay, where do I... Where, do you, where does it show the connections? Whoa. Yeah, no thank you. Um, how can I see the connections? Click on any one dot. Oh, look at this! Who knew? Okay. Well, that's from the, that's from here, right? Okay. So let's see. If I go to Rivendell, can I get to Karaskalathan? Yep, I can. Gotcha. Done and done. I never even knew that interface <laughs> could happen. Okay. And apart from the fact that just like straight up, this is one of my favorite maps in the game. Really neat. Look at all that empty space. I'm telling you. Like, look at all that empty space. Also, Withered Heath. Just saying. Withered Heath. Um, okay. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just like flat out staring at the map right now. All right. How can I be of service? Karas, I need Lothlorien. Karas Galathon. Boom. Okay. Okay, now from here, I need to go down to, which one is this? The Vineyards, right. Hail friend and well met. Dude, what's wrong with you? Why can't I swift travel down there? That's just rude. May 
nylon. Oh, it's rep locked. All right, that's a little vexing. Okay, um, so from here, I head. Right over there. Yeah, okay. Got it. Got it. And one of these boats will take me. Excuse me. Which boat takes me to Southern Mirkwood? I don't remember. Doesn't this... Uh, am I wrong? Which boat takes me over? I can't seem to get into any of the boats. The one over there? Where's the boat? Yep, I am carefully not... You will watch... How carefully I am not setting any swan boats on fire. Which one is the boat? Ah, there's the boat to Marquin. And there's another boat to Marquin. I am so ready to cross the Anduin. Except I didn't talk to Gladio and Kelborn. No, totally didn't. Totally didn't. No, wait, but they're over here, right? Oh, I'm talking to them both places. <sighs> oh, well, so much for the free XP. I'm not going back. All right, here we are in northern Mirkwood or southern Mirkwood. All the way up by Gothboers? Yikes. Good thing Wigan has been around this place one or two times. What do you need? Okay, so hang on a second. So this quest here in Southern Mirkwood is still in the context, essentially, of this. We're still within the Mordor plotline, right? So that the introduction to Northern Mirkwood vector quest that I have up here is actually afterwards. Is that is that right? Um, okay. Okay. Fine, fine. No worries. All right, um, sorry, where were we? Going to Gothbors, if I could, or if I can't, that's also fine. What's your, what are you called here? Oh, Thangulhad, right? And Rep Locked as well. But what do we get Mithril Coins for, if not to avoid that sort of thing? Okay. No problem. Oh, I have such clear memories of this place. Look, it's Galadriel. Wait, no. I, I, wait, stop. I said, look, it's Galadriel. That means get off the horse. Sorry, Galadriel. I didn't mean to ride past you rudely like that. I, Oh, Caliborn, it's you. Um... What are we looking at? Hey, point that somewhere else. Hey, oh. Hey, Galadriel. Uh, looking pretty sweet in your scale mail right there. Love the sleeves. Kelleborn is looking a lot like Eldon and Elro here, but. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's um, let's talk, Kelborn, because you're the most important person here. Our siege has proven successful. I'm glad you have returned to us. The 
brave advance of the Malathrim into the forest has borne fruit, our siege proven successful. With the defeat of Sauron, the time has come to cleanse the lands that felt his foul touch. It is not enough to besiege Mirkwood in the fortress that stands atop this hill of sorcery. We must scour this place of his mark and his memory. This was the fortress of the Necromancer, the guise Sauron wore when he sought to recover his strength and regain the advantage while our sight was veiled. It was the mission of the Golden Host to seize the fortress, but that mission has changed. The fortress must now be destroyed. You tell Celeborn you have reason to believe Karazgar, the Weeping Warrior, might seek a powerful artifact somewhere within Dol Guldur. He smiles grimly at you. He must seek it quickly, or this artifact will be forever buried and beyond his reach. So too might he if he ignores the fury of the elves. It comes now to the fortress and will not, and will not abate. Oh, the fury of the elves comes. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. I get. It. Oh, hey, Goadru. My patience is at an end. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, with them. For too long has this den of evil festered beneath the trees. No content to re not content. Right. <laughs> no content will remain behind the walls of the fortress. We're publishing it all. Sorry. Not content to remain behind the walls of the fortress. That evil spread throughout the forest. Mirkwood was made of it, as should never have been. If the forest is to be renewed and its beauty restored, the fortress of the necromancer must be raised to its very foundation and its remaining corruptions brought into the light. There they will wither and die, their malice slain and their potential for evil undone. Woohoo! All right, I'm almost caught up to the level cap. I can bring down the walls of the fortress, but I will not endanger those of my people who remain within. I ask you to climb the hill and recall those of the Golden Host who remain. Tell them to leave the fortress, for soon it will no longer darken the hill upon which it stands. Their vigil is no longer needed. Galadriel pierces you with her bright eyes. Bring them all from the fortress, Wigand, all of them. Leave no one behind. Legendary item reward track? Uh, wait, like the old one, this one? Okay, <laughs> whatever. All right, bring everybody out, leave nobody behind. All right, I remember just where Dol Guldur is from here. JJ is wondering about the authenticity of that Galadriel and Celeborn, as she didn't see him. She, she, he did not see Galadriel correcting Celeborn even once in that conversation, and so doubts whether they could possibly be the real ones. Oh, right, because I leveled. No, thank you. And no, thank you. Okay. So we are headed, man, one of the old-fashioned maps. There aren't too many of those left in the game, are there? All right. Oh, you guys don't even notice me, because you're totally grayed out to me, yeah? You're level 65. How darling. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Edith wants to perform the experiment. If a Celeborn speaks in the middle of a forest, is he still wrong? You wish we could toggle between the old and new map styles? Some of the old maps I did kind of like, but I do have to admit that I really love the new maps. Okay. Into Dol Guldur we go. Okay, let's see. Kamintari is asking, uh, did Pity stay Bilbo's hand, or was it the ring that wanted to keep a witness alive? Pity. 100%. Yeah, no question. Um, the ring is certainly not going to... You are not part of this quest. You're not in there, so I don't think I have to talk to you. You're wanting to give me a side quest. 
But wait a second. Let me just check you, okay? If this is a side quest I don't need, then fine. An army marches from the east to reinforce oh, yeah, your volume two epilogue quest. All right. Why can I see that right? Why is that ring not grayed out? I'm like 50 levels ahead of it. Anyway, um, no. So first of all, I do not believe that the ring is capable of that kind of long-term planning. Um, I don't. That is, I, I really, I really don't think it does that at all. But the significance of pity, uh, Bilbo's pity and mercy, not to strike without need, as Gandalf quotes in chapter two, uh, which quotation rec is recalled to Frodo's mind when he hears it. You know, when he hears it in his mind again, uh, up in book four. Uh, this is a. It's a big deal. So, yes, Bilbo's pity is very, very important. And definitely what it is that stays his hand. Okay. I'm just... I have to look up in that corner for living elves, apparently. Oh, nice, but the... Oh, look, I'm going to ride my horse, then. Why not? If everyone's ignoring me... And I won't get any XP for you anyway. Oh, it's technically an epic quest because it's in the epilogue. That's why I can always see it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Thanks, Rosie and Phil. Rosie and Phil, I can't believe you guys are still up. I guess it's not that late. It's only 11, right? Over there in the UK. All right, I'm going to... see where this will get me. Right up here and curve back around. Excuse me, orcs. Okay, he is inside the walls, at least. Oh, the blood fountains! I forgot all about the blood fountains of Dol Guldur. Hey, folks! Time to leave! The, mission of the, Golden Host the lady has end. come! Then it is true, the mission of the Golden Host nears its end! These are happy tidings indeed! We will make our way from the fortress, as you ask. There is another sentry post ahead where our brothers and sisters stand vigil against new incursions of the enemy. Go to them and deliver your message, and we will see you again at the base of the hill. Okay. Hey, hey, hey Philip. Sunday morning viewing for you over there in Australia? Fantastic. Fantastic. I think I'm going to need to take a bio break soon. But we're doing okay right now. All right, we're just going to wander around. Ah, yes, the Iron Crown decor. It's all coming back to me. I never, obviously, as you can tell from the quests, I never finished the epilogues. Hi there, Banoth. I will leave my warriors to safety, but will you do something for me? Ah, uh, sure. This morning we found a covered passage leading to a hidden stair. We sought to explore its depths, but my warriors encountered powerful shadow and turned back. But you wield the light of Eorendo. Well, a little bit of it, anyway. And its luminance might buoy you even in the dark, deepest darkness. Will you investigate the hidden stair in the Room of Shadow? Only a work of great evil could have left such a powerful mark upon this secret wing of the fortress. The lady will soon raise Dol Guldur, but I do not want to leave this mystery unexamined. Seek out its secret and return. I will ask the lady to delay until you have emerged safely from the dungeons. That's very big of you. The secret stairway is down the slope and beyond, beyond the raised portcullis. Look to the left after you pass through, then you will see the door. Okay. Got it. Down the slope, through the portcullis, on the left, 
Yeah. No, nothing there. Up the steps then? Are these the steps to the... No. Is it over there? Maybe it's over there. No, it's not. Never mind. Okay. So the bottom of the secret stair is at the top of the open stair? Am I... What? Is that where I'm going? No. What the heck? Come on, folks. I follow the directions. Down the slope. Oops. Totally rivendelled the stairs there. All right, went through the portcullis. Hang a left. Maybe he meant go up the slope. <laughs> I'll check up the slope because my quest arrow is pointing me this way. Oh, down the uh, far slope. Well, if the slope I'm supposed to go down is on the other side of the hill I'm currently going up, you could have mentioned that. Okay. Here we go. I do not know what lies beyond that room of deep shadow. Remain alert. Okay. Remain alert. No worries. Cross the bridge and explore the room beyond. Okay. Whoa! Shadowing impressions from the past, unfolding before my sight. Lord Sauron, I thought you dead, but you cling to life. It says, oh, it's Sarah, or Lara. Curse the elves and men that laid you so low. I was overproud and foolish. I abandoned you when you needed me the most. There's Lord Sauron hanging out on the, on the throne, throne there. Yet had I not done so, I would surely have been slain and could not help you now. I spied your servants from the height and followed them here to you. They are helpless to heal your hurts. I could help you, Lord Sauron. I could minister to you in your weakness. I'm sure he's going to love being reminded about that bunches of times. I could make you strong again. Yes. Okay. I require a boon. I ask for that which I asked before. Just trying to look at Sauron here. Oh, he looks a little tuckered. Yeah. He's asking for a boon. You denied it then, but would grant it to me now, and you will have my service evermore. One child only. Oh, right, she wants to have it. I'm like, she's asking to eat a child? No, after my victory is complete. And my rule stretches from the Sundering Sea to the uttermost east. Yes, my lord. You will be strong again, and I will see it done. Oh, what's this? Oh, a lampstand fell over. 
Better fix that. Oh, more shadowy impressions. Sauron looking stronger. Karazgar, come forth. Dragon Tamer, Wormbreaker, Loyal Gurz Gurzul. Okay. Tell me of your plan. Much enmity lies between the worms and the dwarves. True. Oh no. This might be inflamed. A useful purpose. Are you going to send Smaug with Smaug all your fault? No way! So you say, Karazgar. How might it be done? I am skilled beyond all others at the practice of stealth. Really? You're super burglarious? Are you? In secret, I will slay a number of his kin. Whose kin? I will leave their heads outside his lair, made to look like the work of dwarves. Smaug's lair? In vengeance, he will descend upon them and they will trouble you no more. Uh-huh. Then he will be receptive to your commands and will be a worthy ally. An ally? I seek no ally. I spoke an error, Lord Sauron. Smaug the Golden will be a worthy servant. I knew it. Awesome. Go then and enact your plan. People don't enact plans often enough anymore. This is awesome. Okay, uh, people are asking, should they be calling him Sauron? Technically, no, but it's hard for me to blame the game for that. Um, first of all, remember that like everybody having 15 names is one of the reasons that people find the Silmarillion so confusing and, and, and difficult to follow. And then you have the fact that Sauron, as the name of the... Um, you know, the big bad guy is very well known, right? So I honestly think that it's mostly to, uh, um, you know, for the benefit of people who are not deep lore masters, but it's true. Sauron is a name that the elves gave to him. It means the accursed um, or the abhorrent. And uh, no, he's not going to like his friends are not going to call him like the accursed one. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it seems also, I mean, I, th I think there is some reason to think that Sauron has kind of embraced it. I know that Aragorn says that he does not allow his name to be spelt or spoken. Um, but it is true that the mouth of Sauron calls him Sauron. Um, and, um, that he would sort of embrace it or twist it to his own uses, that name, I think is another thing that is very possible. All right, let's examine some old skulls. I did not summon you, Lyrath. The Blade of Lebenin has declared himself Lord of the Blood Fort, but it is mine. What? Saragost is my domain. You cannot give it to the Nazgul. Oh, right, the Blade of Lebenin is one of the Nazgul. Why have you done this? The Nazgul did not fail me. For their loyalty, I gave them the Nine Keeps. I did not fail you. Well, you said you failed them before. The plague did not do as you claimed. What, did she claim he was going to wipe them out completely? Cured by the Westman's weed. Ooh, that's got a sting. A failure. QED. I will, I will make a new plague. Right, okay. This time will be different. I promise this plague will be more effective. I do not want your promises. Be 
be gone. Footsteps. That's the East Passage. It's a haggard elf. Hi, haggard elf. Do I know you? Who's this? Oh, oh Sigaleth? No way. Get out. Get out. Are you kidding me? Sigaleth, how did you survive? Is it really you? I feared all my companions among the Hidden Guard were dead, but here you stand. I made a place of my own in these dungeons and levied terror upon their fellow inhabitants in the name of, uh, name of my lady. Let us return to my secret lodgings before we press through the Room of Voices, and I will collect the few belongings I left behind. I could not pass through its deep shadow on my own, but together I believe we can. Unbelievable! Oh, that is awesome. Look at this. Look at this. I, I, have you been counting, what, the months? Weeks? Weeks. I mean, if it's, what, 30, 39? Give me more than 39 weeks you've been here. Could it be 39 days? Yeah, might be. Sigileth. Unbelievable. This place must be the sorcerer's stores, but I made it my own. From here I launched my own attacks against the forces of the Dark Lord that tried to hide from the Golden Host. They could not hide from me, not even in this isolated and secret dungeon. I stalked my foes in their own domicile, bringing death to them on stealthy feet. I struck swiftly and faded again into the darkness, and kept a tally of my slain foes. Did I once belong to the Hidden Guard? Now have I truly become the Hidden Guard, Wigand. All others are gone, but I remain behind, and I never stopped fighting. Sigileth laughs, but there is little amusement in it. You tell her that everyone thought she died in the Battle of the Tower. At this she does smile. On the stair my wounds were grievous, the pain severe enough that I dropped my knives. Beloved Longhigil and keen-edged Egnasigil. I slipped from the landing, and my body fell into the depths. When I awoke, I found myself in this secret wing, cut off from the Golden Host. I sought to return to the surface, but the intense shadow of the Room of Voices prevented me from passing beyond. You say everyone I believed? Everyone believed I was dead? Not everyone, Wigand. I heard the voice of Lady Galadriel in my mind, and she said it was time for me to leave the fortress. I braved the Room of Voices one last time, and that is when I found you. And the fell whispers that still lurk there confound the mind and caused even my heart to quail. Some work of great evil must have been conducted there, and the memory of it has scarred that chamber. You tell Sigileth your belief that the spirit of Sauron spent the years following his defeat by the Last Alliance, recovering in that chamber beneath the fortress. That explains the shroud that hangs upon it. Now he has fully regained his strength, his shadow will continue to grow and fester. You explain briefly that Sauron has been defeated. You've missed a bit, Sigileth. And you came to Dol Guldur in search of the of the Bugtadish. Bugdatish. An artifact prized by this Gurzul. Sigileth stares at you in wonder. Gurthdan in Gudrum. In, in Gudrum. I am filled with amazement, Wigand. Perhaps the end of the Dark Lord will serve to lessen the shadow that lies upon the Room of Voices, rather than increase it. It is clear that you have many tales to tell since battle drew us apart, but those can wait until we escape from the fortress. I am unfamiliar with the name Gurzul, or with his, or with this Bugdatish, but many are the relics that lie within Gostador. Let us search for these, and lay waste to any of Sauron's remaining servants. Then we will escape together. Okay. I'm not in an instance anymore, right? Okay. All right. 
This is awesome. Let's go, Sigalith. Between the two of us, boy. Are you coming? You're not going to come? I'm defeating orcs. I'm collecting hoarded relics. I'm collecting ruined tombs. Tomes. Not tombs. Hey, can you come with me? Thank you. Nope, oh, thank you, appreciate it. If you would just join me over here. Yep, oh, thank you very much. Oh, they were carrying the hoarded relics on them, huh? That's convenient. Are the tomes separate, I wonder? Ah, uh, yes, they are. Oh, fine. Come with me, then. Tom. Sigleth stays behind in packs while I kill stuff. Well, that's fine. She's done her part. She really deserves a bit of a lion here today. Okay, so that's two tomes. Are you the only orc back here? Yeah, come with me. Oh good, there's another tome up here. I think I lost the other one. Yeah, there it was. Me in the middle of losing him. Oh well. That's okay. I didn't really want him anyway. All right. One more tome. I already got all the relics I need already. Okay. Let's see, two more orcs and one more tome, huh? All right, I'll go down here. Can I take a right down here? Another toe up here. Hey, perfect. Couldn't be better. Okay. And that's everybody. Bring the relics and tomes to Sigalath in the sorcerer's stores. Right, yeah, back at her little home base there, which is right back where I came from.
You can run with me if you'd like. What did you just throw it? Rock at me? Ah, uh, look, they all ran away because they know that Sigaleth lives here. Okay, Sigaleth. It will be up to others to examine these relics. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Is one the, of these the artifact you seek? The Bugta dish? We will not find out here. I am proud to have done my lady's work. The weeks I spent as the hidden guard within Gostador, levying vengeance upon the orcs, are not pleasant to recall, and neither shall I miss them. But I am proud to have done my lady's work. Let us escape now from the fortress, and she will fulfill her own obligation, and raise this place to its foundation. With you by my side, Wigand, even the whispers in the room of voices cannot stay my advance. Onward! Our mission is fulfilled. Okay. Nice. Well, you wrecked it, but it's not really raised to the ground yet. You need to repeat that cycle three or four more times, I think. All right, here we go. At last, the fortress has been cast down. Its dark walls can no longer hide the works of Sauron. Rejoice with the Golden Host, for a time of trouble and woe has come to its ending, and you played your part in it with grace and with skill. I thank you, too, for helping to lead Sigileth from the depths of Dol Guldur. I was not aware she still lived before we came to this hill of sorcery, but as we approached the wall I sensed her in the darkness. I could not have left her there, Wigand, though Sauron himself survived within. I thank you for bringing her forth. Many of my people died in service of the Golden Host, and I mourn for every one. But Dol Guldur stands no more, and that is a testament to their sacrifice. Awesome. Sigaleth, we got, doesn't she have a twin brother or something? Who is mourning her? The Golden Host achieved its aim, and so too did the Hidden Guard. I am proud of your accomplishments, Wigand. My brother Corridon, that's what I thought. Good old Corridon! I forgot that Corridon was her brother. Oh, man, where did Corridon end up after all that travel? If he is home in Lorien and not away, walking the river as is his wont. You tell Sigleth that you journeyed with Corridon for a time in Rohan, but he vanished while scouting outside Helm's Deep, and you do not know his fate. I thought I lost track of him somewhere. My brother was always given to journey, but he was fond of the Anduin and did not stray far from its banks. Rohan? It seems there is another tale for you to tell, but it must wait. You thought me dead, Wigand, but I was not. So too might it be with Corridon. Well, I don't really think he's dead. I will return to the Golden Wood for a brief time, but not to mourn. I go there to prepare. I will call for you when I am ready, and we will find my brother. Oh, good. We will find Corridon, Riverwalker, and compare our tales of adventure. I was hoping for that reunion. Thranduil! Oh! <laughs> Well, shucks. My realm in the north of the wood came under threat, but I seized the victory. <laughs> Did you? We are mel well met on this hill of ruin. Right, my realm in the north of the wood came under threat, but despite fire and battle, I seized the victory. I came south then. Beneath the trees, I met Celeborn of Lorien in friendship and, and in peace. He agrees, as do I, that the time of Mirkwood of the Mirkwood is over. Together we call it by a new name, Erin Laskalen, and may it bear that name ever forward. From this day forth it will be the Wood of the Green Leaves, and we will work to cleanse the Mark of Sauron from every corner, and heal the hurts he worked upon it by his presence. Thranduil surveys the ruin of the fortress, but when he gazes upon you he speaks more warmly than you expected. I understand you befriended my son Legolas, Wigand. 
In token of that friendship, I open my land and my halls to you. Tell me what you seek, and I will do what I can to help you achieve it. Hey, Northern Mirkwood, here I come. Let's see, what do we want? Um, light armor, heavy armor on top. Okay. Buttressed chest plate of Thorin's strength. Huh? Holy cow, it's a huge upgrade for my current armor that I'm actually wearing. Good grief. So, might vitality. Yikes. Okay. Well, I'll take that one. The weeping warrior is known you say the orcs sought Karazgar at Dol Guldur. Yes, the weeping warrior is known to me, for he has troubled my people for many years. He is a dragon tamer, sly and cruel. I long suspected he had some part in rousing Smaug the Golden from his lair in the arid Mithrin, but lacked the proof of it. Smaug is long dead, but Karazgar remains, a constant thorn in the side of my people and others in the north. I would be glad to see him slain, but he is elusive. Neither have I heard of this artifact Bugdatish. A number of relics from Dol Guldur will be brought back to Felagoth for cleansing and for study. One of these may prove the artifact you seek. You are welcome to journey north with us to Felagoth. There is a horse here in the hill, on the Hill of Ruin that will bear you swiftly to Erin Lasgallen. Lasgallen, probably, yeah. When you arrive at Tom Tyredal in the Green Mountains, travel northeast through the trees. You will find my halls in the caverns beneath the Hill of Karin Dorn. My son also journeys home and will be pleased to see you there. Journey to the entrance of Felagoth. All right. Chapter 6, Halls of the Elven King. Woohoo! We are on the move. Okay, Sigaleth. We'll do the reunion tour thing. Okay. Um, there's a horse. Okay. Uh, bye, Goadriel. Just being polite. Oh, uh, see ya, Celeborn. Off we go. Woohoo! All right. Um, yeah, let's equip this bad boy. Hang on. Do I have any essences? I don't. Oh, hang on. I had some in my vault. Maybe I'll find better ones, though. Let's just see if I find better ones. I can't wear it yet. Oh, minimum level 115. Speaking of which... Okay, there we go. Enhanced XP. All right, I gotta renew that in a minute. Okay. All right. Um, I didn't do the drawing yet, did I? Holy cow. Yeah, I do have an open giveaway. All right, let's do the drawing, and then I'm gonna take a quick bio break. All right, closing the giveaway. And drawing. Our next winner is... Rosie! Rosie, congratulations! Woohoo! Excellent! Congratulations, Rosie. Awesome. Look at that. Both Phil and Rosie get rewarded for staying up late. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Okay. So um, now there will never be a better time to take a break than right now at the very beginning of a whole new section of the world here. I'm just about to begin the Northern Mirkwood epic quest line. I've gone from... I was on the middle of... Uh, chapter three, I think. 
And uh, so I've done two and a half chapters already. And then there's, uh, yeah, chapter six. So we're doing pretty well. It's only been four hours. Maybe I'll get even further. Maybe we'll get uh, we'll get past Northern Mirkwood here tonight. Fantastic. All right. Um, back soon, everybody. Um, gonna take. I'm gonna leave the stream going, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take myself off here. Um, but I'll be back in like uh, five ten minutes. See ya.
And we're back. Okay. Um, all right. So I now understand something which always puzzled me, rather. And that is why... So when I was kind of looking ahead at the shape of the um, quests in the Epic line, I was confused as to why the Northern Mirkwood quests were part of the Black Book of Mordor line. Like, I, I couldn't understand that. But now I do. Because we're still in the same quest line. It's just chapter six of that same quest line. Um, and because, yeah, that was not at all obvious from the outside why it should be. Um, but, uh, but yeah, as a, uh, you know, sort of a pretense for traipsing us through Northern Mirkwood and into Erebor. Could be worse. I'll be interested to see why we end up going on and continuing our dwarvish explorations after that. We're in the same story still, JJ. Exactly. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Ah, swift travel to Felagoth, huh? Hard to say no. After all... Grifflet is going to be coming here, doing all the things. Ooh. How did that happen? Fields of the Kelduin? Or not? Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, I apologize, Stable Master. Let's... Um, Go to Felagoth, because that's where we're supposed to go. Yep, we're headed to Lake Town. Okay. Oh, I remember this. I remember. I've been here. I traveled here once before in uh, one of my. Mythmoot streams. I didn't do any of the quests. I just came to see it. It's the bridge. Very nice. The entrance to the caverns of Felagoth, halls of the Elven King. Who's that? That can't be Orifer. You know why I say it can't be Orifer? Armor! Okay. Yep, we'll get to Lake Town tonight. Gonna happen. Legolas. No, it's Limlang. Sorry, Limlang. You looked like Legolas for a second, but I guess you're meant to. The king himself told us to expect you. Okay, and hasten you to him when you arrived. There will be time to explore the halls of Felagoth at your leisure. For now, King Thranduil is at his throne in the northeast northeast chamber, and be welcome. Okay. What a beautiful set of doors. Are these the magic doors? Fortunately, I have an... For, whoa, whoa, hitting the wrong button. Fortunately, I have an invitation. Oh, Wigan is not going to get lost in the cave system. Very, very small chance of that. Ooh, look. A dark essence of physical mastery. That'll come useful when I level up again. Speaking of which. Okay. Let's see. Are we still 
Is there a new level cap here? We're still at 115. Okay. Um, did it level up to 120 through to Erebor? Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's still 115 all the way through? Great. Great. So Wigan actually might be able to catch up. Excellent. Oh, really nice carpet. Love the edges. Looks a little familiar. I think I've seen it before. Love the symbol with the magic door between the trees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The green is gorgeous. Looking good. Very minagrothy. I love it. Ah. Sorry. Mouse issues. Okay, there we go. Who's this guy? A little harper. Just harping. You know. Minding his business. Okay, look at you people with side quests to whom I am not speaking. New deed, Path of the Company. Where are your friends now, and what are they doing? Demanded Thranduil. Oh, demanded of Thorin. Yeah, right. Right. Probably starving in the forest. Right, right, yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember the answer to that question now. Be sure to meet the guy to the right of the stairs. Hang on. Which guy? This guy? Now, this guy? <gasps> Galleon! Hey, hey! Congratulations, mister. I'm a wood elf with a name. Ooh. Is Chamberlain a, a promotion or a demotion from Butler? I wonder. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to uh, dish you there, Thranduil. Nice throne with the living tree. Yeah. Love it. Looking at your crown there. Sorry, not trying to get in your personal space, but okay. Got silver and flowers. Right, good combo. Sorry, sorry. Not trying to disrespect your boundaries, man. Concerning spiders, not even going to ask. I not interested. To the of and to the greater wood of Erin You're welcome. Oh, you put the stress on the first syllable, do you, King Thranduil? That's very interesting. Enjoy the comforts of my halls and the conversation of my people. My scholars study the artifacts from Dol Guldur. And if any signs of this Bugdatish is found, you will be called. You express your concern about keeping artifacts from Dol Guldur within his halls. And Thranduil nods. You are wise to be wary, but my people have much experience facing the corruption of Sauron. Did they not resist its influence for the many years of darkness that gave this forest the name Mirkwood? They will be vigilant now, and will learn what they safely may of these artifacts. That done, any that cannot be cured and retained will be destroyed. Worry not on that score. Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought he was talking about the people who were... Because, uh... see, at the beginning of this paragraph, the they meant the his people, who have much experience facing the corruption of Sauron. And then by the end... Uh, so I th any that cannot be cured and retained will be destroyed. I thought he meant his people who are... I'm like, oh, harsh, man. That's harsh. Okay, uh, talk to Legolas. Oh, did I miss you somewhere? Down oh, yes, I did. I ran right past you. Sorry, I was, there was a celebrity. Galleon the butler over there. Uh, you're prince now, huh? I mean, I know you always were, but, like, you weren't labeled that. 
But now, you know, this is Legolas at home. Okay, all right, he's got his uh, Lorian cloak with the brooch. Just going to see if, the, you know, what evidence of his travels there were. There well, I think it's just that. Okay. Hey, Legolas. I am delighted to see you in my father's halls. Okay, I think Gimli would appreciate them as well if he could put aside the grud hit the grudges of his sire, who spent some time imprisoned in the dungeons here. Yes, I have heard the story. Glowen and the others of his company are fortunate it was not my duty to guard their cells, or they might be there still. Much mischief might have followed then, and it seems less and it seems likely Smaug would still trouble the north. So let us be glad the watch on the dwarves was not a princely duty. In truth, I have not spent much time at Felagoth, not since I was young. These caves are home, and they remind my father of his own younger days in the service to his liege Thingol. But I prefer wooded glens and sunlight. My father seldom emerges from his halls, save to hunt and feast in the nearby woods. Instead, he sends me to accomplish his desires in the wider world, and I relish those errands. I would not have attended the Council of Elrond were it not so, but that is a tale you know. I invite you to explore Felagoth while you are here. Visit the dining chamber, the room of study, and the waterway bridge, and speak to a number of the elves you encounter. You will find them pleasant and welcoming, no matter what Gimli and his sire might have led you to believe. All right. I get the tour of the place. Fantastic. Okay. Room of study, dining chamber, and the river bridge. Okay, I got one close by. Oh, he's keeping me well away from the feast halls, huh? I see. Oh. For a second I thought these were the gardens, but now I see. You have to go around to get to the gardens. Okay, hello people whose quests I'm not getting. No, no, not even curious. Can't be tempted. Oh, hang on a second. I wanted to... Yes, I was noticing the explanation for why Legos wasn't in The Hobbit. All right, it's time to switch to my new cosmetic gear. Let's see. Let's see, Wigand. Here we go. Let's go with... Boom. Yeah. This is the... Uh, which one is this? This is the flowing silver one. Oh, yeah. That helmet is kind of boss. Isn't that good? Love it. I loved all the new cosmetics that I got with the expansions. Okay. The, uh, I like the, you know, the Valinor cloak, the Two Trees cloak, a little bit better than this one, but it's, uh, it's nice. It's tasteful. Okay. Ooh. Hang on. Almost missed. There's a little side turning up here, right? Where, where'd it go? Oh, you like the purple weapon aura? Okay. Hang on. Where am I even going? Okay, up here around the corner. Up by where I was busy not being tempted. Don't jump! Starlight, moonlight, that is the time for dance and song. Totally agree. Yeah, you know what else is good for dance and song? Sunlight. Yeah. Yeah, that's good too. But that's okay. Glad you have your Priorities in order. Okay. That is a big fireplace. Got a couple whole trees in there. Okay. So where are we? This is the uh, dining chamber. I don't know. Who gets a picture in the dining chamber? Or a statue, I mean. Elf holding up sword with the crown. 
That's got to be Orifer. This guy looks sufficiently lightly armed, potentially, to be Orifer. That's what I'm thinking. Thranduil's dad, I mean, you know. Okay, Herthir. I fought at Dagorland, but more than half of the Wood Elves did not return from the war. Yeah, exactly. When the last alliance marched through Rovanian on its way to Mordor, none were turned away who swore to march against the Dark Lord. Men of the Long Lake, dwarves of Khazad-dûm, and elves of the divided Greenwood, west and east, stood side by side. I fought with my brothers and sisters at Dagorlad, but more than half of the Wood Elves did not return from the war. Lost two were our kings. Thranduil ascended to the throne, and though he is not a Wood Elf, he never forgot the sacrifice of my people. He led us wisely and well during the years since the Battle of Dagorlad. He is the Elven King, and I am proud to serve him. I know he will one day depart for the Undying Lands with the rest of his kin, and leave this land to be ruled by Wood Elves. I will celebrate his rule when that day comes, and speak much praise for Thranduil Swiftstream. That day is soon approaching. Swiftstream. <clears throat> Herthir smiles, anticipating the day when the Wood Elves will rule Erin Laskalen. Laskalen, I think it really probably is. Erin Laskalen. Erin Laskalen. I kind of like Laskalen. Okay. That's cool. Now we're headed... We're going that way. Okay, let's mount up. Hang on a second. No, um, yeah. What do I have for mounts? Oh, look, I've got an elk. I've got an elk, isn't that, uh, that's a little more local. I had my Gondor winning Gondor. Steed of Starlight? Huh. Oh, look, it's the bay horse that Wigand bought. That's his first horse. Way back. That I got from what's-his-name's farm. North of Bree. Okay, Holy Grow. You've got yourself a deal. Hang on a second. I'm going to take the elk. And I'm going to rename him. There you go. Lawrence. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Lawrence Elk. There you go. Done. Love the suggestion, Holly Grow. Okay. Oh, is it with W? I'll see you there. Woo! He leaves spangles in his path? My goodness. Okay. That is something. That's distracting as I'll get out. Guess I'll get used to it. Okay. I'm going the wrong way, though. I'm celebrating driving an elk by driving him in utterly the wrong direction. Okay. Here we go. Yeehaw! Go down here and bang a left. Up we go. Bang a left. Man, our antlers barely make it through the door. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to keep to the right and then we'll get to probably that looks like not the throne room. Um, okay, the room of study. Probably the room of study. Let's head to the room of study. Boy, these are... Whoa, this gets tight down here. Okay. Okay. Nothing. 
Nice. Gimli would like this part. Okay, let's see what our error was. Yeah, I agree. This isn't the worst place in the world to be imprisoned. Sorry. Still not even used to how awesome Wigan looks right now. So cool. Which one was this? Was this the one that came with the Gundabad? Ones, or is this the new one? I lost track of which one came where when I, I kind of unpacked them all at the same time. Okay. Room of study. Hey, who's over there dancing in the room of study? That is the forest breathing new life. Yeah, that hurts them playing the flute over there. They got some wild heel kicking going on over there. Hey there, Gondo. What can you tell me about the Room of Study? Our scholars hope to cleanse the artifacts brought from Dol Guldur of their evil. Oh, you're the ones that Thranduil is going to have destroyed if you don't make it. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yes. Oh, you used to live on Amon Hlank? That is true. I speak. Oh, sorry. Our, our scholar speaks to study the artifacts, right? Hoping to cleanse them of the evil that blankets them. I hope they prove able, for that was for that was once our home. It is true. I speak not of the fortress. No, the fortress of Dol Guldur was wholly constructed by servants of the enemy, but it was built upon the bones of the elf hall that once stood atop the bald hill, which is what Amon Hlank means. Abandoned at the advice of Curanir the White. He believed the darkening of Markwood could not be slowed, and King Thranduil heeded his words and led us north, beyond Agordor, the narrows of the forest. We settled at a rocky spire in the mountains of Amon Laig, look overlooking the source of the river Luthond. Thranduil named the hill Karastilian, and the hill stands still, but it stands empty. Oh, at the hill of the moon? The darkness of Markwood spread, and our retreat from the southern reaches of the wood was not to be, it was probably like the, the hill of the hunter or something. Uh, the wood was not to be the last such retreat. I do not wish to speak of it. I am sorry. My happiest days were spent in Karastilian, and speaking of it now brings the pain of their loss anew. I love how they're doing, like, the history of the wood elves through this quest. This is a great quest. Oh, look, there's one person actually studying. Okay. And then from here, okay, all the way out to the dungeons, right? Yeah, this is where I went before, of course. Major tourist area. Come, Lawrence. Ho ho! Fourth Lawrence Elk. So now we come up here, we go around to the right, yeah, there, right through. Boy, the antlers really look like they barely fit through those trellis doors. Oh, this place is lovely. No wonder it, as I said, it um, reminds, they said that it reminds uh, Thranduil of his time with Thingol. Ooh, I can just walk right off this bridge, huh? Um, that's what I meant when I said it was very Menegrothy. Hi, Ithron. Okay. These caverns were carefully shaped over hundreds of years. 
and now their beauty is a comfort to me. So too is it a reminder that even amid darkness, wood elves and grey elves working together can achieve works of grace and splendor. So too can it be between elves and dwarves? There has been trade between our peoples, to be certain, but that is a history, troubled and long. There may now be friendship and peace between the elves of the wood and the dwarves of the mountain, but it was not always so. In Erebor, the lonely mountain of the dwarves, their miners unearthed a shining white jewel of unsurpassed brilliance. King Thranduil believed it must be nothing less than one of the lost Silmarils. Very interesting that you should mention that, and demand to see it, but Thran of the dwarves refused. Thranduil shut the gates of Felagoth to the dwarves, and only the council of Mithrandir and his assurance that the white, ju white jewel could not be a Silmaril, parentheses, dummy, close parentheses, repaired those broken bonds of friendship. They were later strained again, but of the necklace of Girion it is not my place to speak. Ask the Prince Legolas of, of it if you must, but I will say naught of it now. Oh, really? The necklace of Girion of Dale? Itheron apologizes for his sudden reticence, but he will say no more. Yeah, you would definitely know if it were a Silmaril, because Maglor would be showing up. Okay. All right, hang on. What's over here? On the other side of the river, there's this, like, one little room at the top of the stairs. Oh no, you can't get in? Are you kidding me? My curiosity will never be sated? Is it a cell? Because see, I want it, because this is my, my theory, is that this might be Thorin's cell. The separate cell where Thorin was kept? Remember Bilbo had to find out where he was? Yeah, the one set aside for Thorin. That's my theory. That's my theory. Okay. Alright. Back to Legolas. Oh! Hang on. Time for another giveaway. Wait for it. Oh, I keep saying queer. I mean reset. Okay. And wait for it. Okay. Giveaway open. All right. Come, Lawrence. Let's see. And now for my next trick. I'll see if I can remember the way back without looking at the map. I'm pretty sure I go up this way and around that way. Some of these hallways seem unnecessarily long. I bet you I'm not the first person to make that observation. Okay. Um. No, no, I think I was meant to turn there. Oh, yeah. Okay, back around past the utterly irrelevant to me quest givers. How did you enjoy your exploration of my father's halls? It was awesome. Loved the history lesson that accompanied it, especially. You share your experience of Felagoth and ask Legolas about the Necklace of Girion, mentioned by Itheron. He stares at you in silence. That is a subject about which my father prefers not to speak, and I will respect his wishes. 
I didn't ask you to ask him to speak about it. I will only say this. The, the, the Gweriamir was cra crafted by dwarves and gifted to the Bride of Thingol, my father's liege. Really? It was Melian's? Huh. When he was murdered, she cast it away in disgust, and it was lost for thousands of years. It came in the end to the dwarves of Erebor, and seeing it there inflamed my father's anger, as surely you can understand. When Smaug came, my father turned the dwarves away, and they became a people in exile. I am not proud to recount this to you. The matter was resolved in time, and I do not wish to dwell upon it. There are dangers and troubles enough to face for now, without dwelling upon old injuries and half-forgotten insults. How did it come to be associated with Dale? Let us instead look to the dangers that await my people in Arian Lasgale. Right. Okay. It is mere hours since I returned, and already I have heard tell of orc spies in the forest. We should seek the scouts my father dispatched, and see what they have learned of these spies. Gar Gardelin and Dinellas. Gardelin and Dinellas. Okay. Patrol the, so the wood southeast of Torek Emel. Let us go to them and hear their report. That sounds far away. Okay, fine, Gardellin, Torek, ML, that was ever so far. All right. I think I remember where the door is. Yeah, ooh, help. Okay. Uh huh. Now we turn right, because this was the way to the door. I like how the individual carpets show up on the mini map. Okay. I know just what to do. What a lovely forest. Hey there, Stable Master. What can I do for you? Can I go back to uh, Tom Tyredal, please? That would be great. Dweller of Earth, do I plan on becoming an affiliate? Oh, what, a Twitch affiliate? No, no, no plans. No plans at all. It, it doesn't really... This is Signum University's official channel, and it this is not... It does not... The Twitch affiliate program does not really line up well with Signum University. Um, yes, we are a... We are a non-profit, tax-exempt university. Not, you know, like an individual content creator. Oh, there's where the road goes. Um, and so therefore, yeah, like the whole Twitch affiliate thing. Not really relevant to us. But um, what is relevant to us on account of our being a nonprofit tax exempt university is our fundraising campaign, which is currently underway. Um, so I encourage folks to support Signum University. We are um, all donations to Signum University are completely tax deductible. Um, and we also have uh, we love to give presents to the people who make donations. Um, so we have uh, a whole donor perks program um, to thank folks. Thank everybody who uh, makes donations to us. You can get all kinds of access to special resources and educational materials and um, even some free class material and stuff. So, hey, Elbereth Elizabeth, we are in northern Mirkwood. We just did our my first exploration of Felagoth up there, and I'm headed up to um, somebody or other's lair in order to meet scouts with Legolas. That's where we are.
Yeah, there are a bunch of things that are, of course, very common to uh, a lot of independent con con content creators. Like, for instance, oh, the asparagus stumps. I remember the, aster the asparagus bowls. Don't remember what they're for. Never figured that out. Um, anyway, uh, what was that? Oh, mushrooms. Okay. Um, yeah, there, there are a number of things that are very common in the world of independent content creators. And, you know, as a podcaster and, you know, a broadcaster on YouTube and Twitch, I know I look like a, you know, a regular con a content creator, you know, in, in that sort of way. Um, and so a lot of people ask, like, oh, do you have a Patreon or do you have, you know, whatever. No, um, no, we're, uh, we are... We are Signum University, and uh, Patreon's not really designed for, you know, tax-deductible donations and that kind of thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, we are similar but different. And where am I going? I just need to head across the woods, I guess. I'm, like, riding along the road for no obvious reason. So I will cease doing that and just head north. As soon as I can find a way across this uh, ravine here. Okay. Okay, right here's a gentler slope. I don't want to break the ankles of my new elk. Okay, well, he's not new, but I don't actually know that I've ever used it before. Being attacked by something or other. Who's attacking me? Oh, it's a cute little Markwood wolf. That's really nice. Can I mm, slide? Oh, well, there goes the elf ankles. That's oh, okay. All right. Man, rough terrain through here. Oops. I've hit a mountain, which I couldn't see for the trees. All right. We'll see if the bears mind. If we... Oh, okay. Spiders. I knew that was a matter of time. Here's Torek ML. Okay. There we go. This is nice. It's very creepy. I can't believe that is the first spider to start chasing me. Hey guys, found ya. Hang on, I brought a spider. Oh no, that's not the one I brought. That's the one I brought. Now right, just give me a sec. Take care of him. Hey, he brought a friend. That was thoughtful. Sorry, sorry. Any friend of the prince is friend to me also. I bid you greetings and courtesy and safety in the wood. There are orc spies beneath the canopy of the wood, and they have stirred other creatures to wakefulness within the tramp with the tramp of their filthy boots. I do not know what has brought them hither, but any errand of theirs is certain to oppose the will of Thranduil. Din Dinalas went in search of them, in the direction of Karastilian. Before you follow him, will you slay some of the foes the orcs stirred in their wake? Uh, sure. Just any any old foe. We're kind of indiscriminate on the foe front. Okay, so down towards Karas Tillian, huh? The 
defeat foes on the way to Okay. I'll head back out then. See ya, Legolas. What do you have to say for yourself? Gladly we will slay these beasts. Yeah. Agreed. Super gladly. Can I go straight across? Towards the other? Because I assume that the ring is where the other dude is. Well, let's see how we do. I'll just head in that direction. Okay. Hey there, Meow. Hey, Meow. I am making huge progress here. Huge. I've done like two and a half chapters of the epic. Oh, man. Mountain. Not good. Can you get out of here? Can somebody tell me if this place... I mean... Toric ML here. Is this a valley surrounded by, like, impenetrable mountains? Because if so, I'm not going to try to go sideways. It is surrounded by impenetrable mountains. Okay, fine. Then I'll just find the exit. And then as soon as I get out of Toric ML, we'll do the other we'll do another giveaway. At least there's two. One other one ran off. No, not going to search. Okay, maybe I will. It's not going to start a quest, is it? No, it's just treasure. Cool. Okay. So, I think I still need to just head south from here. Okay. Getting towards the exit. Ran over a spider. It was awkward. Ran over another spider. Oh, the first spider. Oh, no, they're both there. All oh, right, I meant to defeat foes anyway, so. I thought I was just indulging myself, but I forgot I actually have a quest for them. Okay, let me gather another brace of foes here. Isn't there a foe right here? Oh, it's just a boar. You count as a foe? Yeah, you do. Huh. You're funny. Oh, look, it's a pair of boars. Okay. So I'm out of Aaron. L I'm not out of Aaron Lascan. I'm out of uh, Torek ML. 
back into the green wood. And now I can head count as a foe wolf yes you do great all right I'm gonna accept this just in case I run into more wolves because you know <clears throat> uh oh the final foe awaits. The deer. No way, man. I don't have nearly enough courage for that one. I'm giving him a wide berth. Just in case I run into more wolves and end up fighting them anyway. Might as well keep that quest around. Okay. So I think I'm in that big gully that runs parallel with the road, more or less. So which way do I want to go? This way? I guess I'll just go back to the road. Okay. And... All right, well, it's now I'm up on a plateau, from which I will do another drawing. Okay, let's do it. Last chance to get in on the raffle. We're giving a, a, a drawing of a big Lotro bundle. Northern Beast Slayer, huh? Okay. So, okay. All right, I see a couple people still signing up. Wolf, deer. Now we're headed in generally the right direction. Okay. I'm going to close it then. Okay, and we will do the giveaway. Here comes the drawing. And the winner is... Walsey! Walsey wins! Very good. Congratulations, Walsey. We'll do another drawing very soon. Yes, the pack that we're giving away is a very valuable pack. Kind of impressively valuable, actually. Oh, hang on, Wolf. Be right there. Can't just be fighting wolves at all hours of the day and night. Okay. Oh no, now I'm fighting the deer as well. It's curtains for me. My nemesis is upon me. It's got to be enough foes. I can't handle more foes than that. Ah, look, I was wrong. He's not even. Why was there a circle, a ring up there? Super weird. Okay, well, let's head back to the road then. As soon as I can get up the hill. There's another hill. The road is right on the top of that hill. Well, 
Let's at least parallel it in the direction that we're headed then. And we'll defend ourselves staunchly against whatsoever may attack. Be he deer, wolf, giant spider, or what. Man. This is so annoying. I just want to get back up to the road. Is that so much to ask? Wait, I, th I think I see a root. I think I see a root. Oh, come on. Okay, come, Lawrence. We return. Man. Just shows you. Don't leave the path. I wish somebody would, like, somebody would have warned me about that in advance. Yeah, Meow, you're right. That advice is sh so good, they should write it down in a book. It's a great idea. Whoa, did it get dark. Yikes. Oh, we crossed into... It's a less greenwoody, more murkwoody down here, yeah? This map reminds me of... Treebeard's comment. There are still some very black patches. It's just what we get here. Okay. Uh-oh! Eyes in the darkness! That is awesome! Love it. Love the eyes in the distance. So cool. Okay, so I'm going to keep going and I'm going to bear right. There should be a bridge that I have to be careful not to Rivendell. Unless this is the Black Stream. Is it the Black Stream? Is there a boat? Do I have to throw a grappling hook? Will I have dreams? Oh, they probably have a wreck. This is, right? This is that stream, I think. Jump into the river to check. I thought that was the stream. Jump in the river? Are you crazy? I don't want to go comatose for months. Though if I have to cross it too many more times, I might just have to test it out. Oh, there's the turn. Is this the correct turn? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm to Karastelion. I 
one objection I have to riding an elk is that what is this? No. Thank you. Um, one thing that I object to is that I can't jump further. Like, if I'm riding a giant elk, like, he should be able to jump pretty far, right? Huge mushrooms. Yeah, they're dinnerless. How has the prince fared on your journey? Mostly absent. It is my pleasure to meet you. Tell me how the prince has fared on your journey beneath the trees, if you can spare the tale. Long ago, at the king's request, I taught Legolas much of his woodcraft. I hope he has lived up to my high expectation. Dinnerless laughs, and although he is a new acquaintance, you can tell his laughter comes easily and often. But there is no time for such friendly stories. You have arrived too late to aid me with the orc spies. I slew one of them already, and the rest fled into the trees. Well, that's hardly finishing with them, now is it? I wish you to see my handiwork. If you wish to see my handiwork, he lies right over there. Noticed him on the way in. Oh, you want me to notice him a little bit more, huh? Okay, chainmail loincloth. One pauldron. Hmm. A filthy parchment. The orc carried a letter from its captain. Show it to the prince. Yeah, let me read it first. You cannot hide from me for long, Karasgar. I command you to report to me what you know of this thing, this Bugdatish, at once. Delay will only deepen the punishments you will suffer. Thraknul may be dead, but if you chance my anger, you will long for his cruelest attentions. You will wistfully remember his devices and his... and his table? Oh, right, not his dinner table. Right, his flaming brands and his cells. Return to Gorgoroth and give to me what I seek. Risk not the ire of Ugrochor. Okay. What do you think, Legolas? This letter is interesting. Are the Gorzul of whom Mithrandir speaks not united? But I do not understand what has given rise to it. Are the Gorzul of whom Mithrandir speaks not united? Of course they're not united, Legolas. Don't be a noob. This letter at least speaks clearly to me. Ugrakor and Karasgar are at odds. The captain of the pit seeks knowledge only possessed by the weeping warrior. Perhaps they will draw each other's blood and save us the effort. I know that is unlikely. If you will enter Karas Tilion and defeat the foes that lurk within, what, all of them? I will set to mind, I will set my mind to considering our next steps. I once called Karas Tilion home, and seeing enemies within, within brings sadness to my heart, though it has been many years since any of my people lived within its walls. That's why you're leaving it to me, huh? Defeat the defeat foes. Okay. Um, whoa. Only one little pocket of foes in here. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm, let's see. Okay, now we're entering it proper. Okay. Hey, right, good night. I know we're losing folks, especially folks over in the UK. We may get them back, but may not. Okay. Well, we're just headed way over there. here in Greece. Wow, it is late for you. Ah, who do we have here? Sorceress spirits, huh? Yeah, you got a proper infestation here. What are those? Armored shadows? Really? I remember to heal myself. Is that two or three foes? Oh, just two, because the third one didn't come with. Oh, yeah, this is lovely. Here, guys, come with me. Ooh, yeah, let's do five at once. Well, that looks like it'll be fun. Holy cow. What was draining my... They, they have an AoE effect I did not know about. Maybe just the three of y'all. What do you say? Also, what do you say we... Yeah, there we go. Let's try just the two of you and see how we do. What is that draining thing you're doing? It's harsh. Yikes. Yeah, those uh, shadow armor guys. Oh, you lay it on. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Hey, wow, you met Elijah Wood today? Merlin's parents, that's cool. Okay, so I'm just, um, I'm just traveling around. Oh, what is over there in the yellow section? 
Spies in the forest, huh? Let's see what we can find. Oh yeah, I got these other two dudes. Okay, well, properly prepared, I can get two of yous without too much trouble. <clears throat> hey, Madman Mador, good to see you again. Um, yeah, catch a breath to remove the debuffs because they stack. Yeah, that, that seemed to be, there was some mad stackage going on there. Yeah, oh no, we're not doing that. We're going to separate and attack you. Okay. All right, well, let's head over towards... Oh. No, this guy will be good. Actually, this guy over here will have regen, and then I'll be done. Let's see what it tells me after this. Talk to Legolas, yeah. Okay, back to the elk. Yeah, I mean, Mauro says, I remember the first time I went in there, I thought I was going to tank the entire place right out the gate. Boy, did I learn otherwise. Yeah, that was, um, that was interesting right there. Hey, Merlin, great to hear that, uh, there was lots of love for Signum. Where you guys, where you were at the convention today? Very nice. Mayor of Minneapolis tickled Sean Astin and Elijah Wood. Declared it Middle Earth Day. Very cool. Okay, I'm, I am in fact going the right way. All right, Legolas. Yeah, bunch of um, undead, sp well, corrupted spirits. I have given more thought to the words of Ugokor. But every avenue upon which my mind travels leads to no answers. This artifact called Bugdatish is not known to me. Indeed, beyond its name, I know nothing of it. It seems I share that trait with the captain of the pit. Can you not hear the desperation underlying his threats to Karazgor? Karazgar? Whatever this artifact may be, he fiercely desires word of it. Very curious. We should return to my father and give him this news. He will be most interested in that which distresses our foes. Um. Oh, it's not that far. But I have a long way to go. Okay. Oh, that's right. Occupying the space of Thranduil. My apologies. Legolas told me you adventured in Karastiria and beheld the ruin it has become. I am glad of your efforts within. Did you learn aught of the artifact Bugdatish or the Weeping Warrior? The artifact Bugdatish might have been taken by my warriors out of Dol Guldur. Um, maybe. We may have an advantage over Ugrakor of the Gurziel. The scholars of my realm are nearly finished with their study of these treasures. The, the wizard Mithrandir has come to Felagoth and speaks with them even now. Oh, good. 
Go to him in the room of study, southeast of the throne room, and learn if any of the artifacts could be the one prized by Ugrakor, or if any possess a connection of some kind to Karazgar. Same old room of study, right? That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> you think um, when I appear in somebody's personal space like that, I should try to smooth it over with a hug? Fish herderess? Yeah. I'm sure Thranduil would appreciate that. Whenever you find yourself uh, in an awkward place, in a sudden audience with the elf, with the elven king, try to smooth it over with a hug. Okay, down this way, as I recall. Okay, anybody see a wizard in here? About so high, wearing white when last seen. There he is. Gandalf. Any news? Anybody go insane here or become corrupted and start killing folks? I grew tired of waiting for news from you. And prevailed upon Gwai here to bring me hither. Oh, that's cheating. Except not as much as I was cheating. I spoke at once with Randuel. His scholars have been sorting through the artifacts rescued from Dol Guldor, but they say they have not found what I seek. There is no wonder in that. How can they hope to find this artifact, this Bugdatish, while they, sh while they know nothing of it? Such things do not come labeled for easy study, they say to me. Pa, I said to them. And now I say it to you, Wigan. Pa! We may not know what form the Bugdatish may take, might take, but if the Gurs Yul desire it so badly, I believe the thing will be enwreathed with a powerful aura. But these scholars insist they have not found such a relic in the small hoard of artifacts taken from Dol Guldur. The wizard pauses. Hoard, did I say? That is not the only such hoard known in this part of Middle-earth. Smaug himself assembled his own hoard of treasure. Yes. When he still lived, and when he died, it was divided into shares among dwarves and men, and some came even to Thranduil's elves. May it, might the Bugdatish have been part of that treasure hoard? Really? How would it have gotten there, Gandalf? Ask the Elven King of this possibility. Huh. Um... Gandalf has an endless supply of mithril coins. Yeah. It tracks. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. All right. If the Bugdatish was supposed to be in Dal Guldur, it seems entirely impossible that it could have ended up uh, in Smaug's Horde. Like, I'm sorry, Gandalf, but this seems to me a ridiculous suggestion. Right, that corner is always quicker than I think. Um, Sauron was in Dol Guldur until just like, you know, a week before, you know, a couple weeks before Smaug was killed. So it's not like he could have gone down and fetched it or something. All right. I do not like to speak of that hoard, as Mithrandir knows. Mithrandir has sent you back to me so quickly. Do the artifacts from Dol Guldur hold no answers to his questions? You offer Thranduil 
The wizard's suggestion that the artifact Bugdatish might have been a part of Smug's treasure hoard, howsoever improbable that may seem. I do not like to speak of that hoard, Wigan, as Mithrandir knows. The dragon sickness that lay upon it caused much trouble in the hearts of dwarves. Indeed, even men and elves became embroiled in the fighting over it. I remember. The hoard and its treasure were divided among the victors following the death of Smaug. They were many and valuable, and included the Arkenstone and the Necklace of Girion. If the artifact Bugdatish had been contained within, it surely would have been accounted in the reckoning of shares. The Arkenstone lies with Thorin Oakenshield in his tomb beneath the mountain. I saw a bard laid upon his breast myself. As for the Necklace of Girion, which I knew in elder days as the, Guer as the Gweriamir, it was made of gold and contained five hundred emeralds. It belonged then to the bride of my liege, and disappeared for thousands of years, until reappearing on the neck of King Thror, as it should never have done. It was all I desired of the Horde. After the death of Smaug, the necklace went to Bard, but in his wisdom the bowman took the necklace apart, and gave its gold to the dwarves, and the jewels to my people, and so were those bonds repaired. Well, I'm going to wreck the necklace? That's how you're going to repair the bond? I think the artifact sought by Ugrukor cannot be traced to the Dragon Horde. Me neither. How could it possibly have gotten there? But dwarves and men may tell you otherwise. Well, I don't know, but I think you're sending me to Erebor, so I'm for it. Oh, good. You followed me. This is such a wild goose chase, Gandalf. Yeah, JJ, I, I like that a lot. How uh, there's an explanation for Thranduil's desire for the gems beyond just pure greed. Yes. Thranduil speaks truly. From the horde he desired the Necklace of Girion, though he knew it not by that name. He coveted no other wealth, not even the Arkenstone. I have an idea about that, Wigan, but this is not the place to recount it. Suffice it to say that if the artifact Ugrachor desires did end up in the Dragon Horde, it is Erebor that must be searched, not Felagoth. The wizard lowers his voice so as not to be heard by Thranduil, and speaks to you in confidence. Elves and dwarves have a long and demanding history, and they have often bickered over their treasures and perceived slights. Thranduil said it was the wisdom of Bard the Bowman that the Necklace of Girion be separated into its component gold and gems. He said, too, that it was Bard's wisdom that the gold and gems be given separately to dwarves and to elves to repair the, their sundered bonds of friendship. Such was the advice I gave to Bard, Wicked. How often must wizards repair the bridges burned by these two peoples? But for now, it seems the road leads from Felagoth. Make now for, for Loigland. Loigland? Hmm. The settlement of the Raft Elves, and seek the word of Karazgar, and, and seek word of the Karazgar and of the Bugdatish. I will follow shortly and meet you at Erebor after I have concluded my own business. Okay. Leugland, huh? Cool. We'll do. All right. Off we go. I don't remember Loigwand at all. Didn't really find out more about Karas Tillian. I have to leave that to Griffith, I suppose. Ah, Brunier says uh, his daughter insists it's called Legoland. Yeah, well, I hear that. It's very close. Wait. You can take a barrel? No. 
Oh, you need rep to take the barrel. Okay. Um, have I left the path? Where's the bridge? I think I have. Where'd the path go? Um, where did the path go? How did I lose the road? Ah, huh. but this looks like an innocuous stream. Shouldn't be a big deal to just cross it. Okay, so I got a little bit delusional, but not too bad. Where's the darn road? <laughs> How did I miss it? Where did, where did I go wrong? I'm trying to reconsider my life choices. Nice. Whoa, there's a giant bear. No, it's actually there. Okay. I thought I was having a hallucinations of a giant bear. Okay, Markwood Bear, I'll fight you. Didn't want to... Look like I'm still underwater. I just fell over. Can I get up this hill? Oh no, now I'm going to be attacked by a deer. This has just gone from bad to worse. Okay, let me try this again. Where's the path? Stupid wolf. Okay. I'm going to make one last attempt to find the path. Because that river makes me a little queasy. Is the bridge up there? It is. That's where the bridge is. Okay. So I gotta go around that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, worst case, I the river at least is a landmark that can't be missed. How get up there? How did I get down here? Where am I? A corrupted board. If you want to run with me, you can. But you probably won't run far.
Okay, here's the path. I'm following the path. I am following the path so meticulously. It's not even funny. There is an amazing meticulousness, meticulousness of me following this path. Here I come. I'm still on the path. There it is. There's the bridge. Ha ha! Ha ha! Did I not cross this before? It's like doesn't even look familiar. Okay. not trivial. And here we go. They were lured off the path by the light of torches. Oh, can we find the elf circles? Asparagus poles are helpful for navigation through the mist. Okay, where do they sell pies? Can I get a meat pie or something? You know, if I'd been really smart, I would have milestoned Felagoth, because I feel like I'm going to go back there. Okay. Hi there, folks. Whoa. Nembadeth of the radiant garments. That's just not what I meant to push. To you. Are you lost? Well, no. Have you become like a barrel upon the forest river, traveling from the hills of the Elven King down river on your way to Lake Town? On your way to Lake Town? Uh, I was going to try that if I couldn't find the bridge, but I found it eventually. But alas, you have fetched up on the bank, and now it falls to me to dislodge you with my long pole. Hold still and I will set you going again. Nembadeth laughs merrily. Pardon my jesting, friend, and tell me what brings you to, to Loigland. I will set you going again with my words and not my staff, I promise you. These names are unfamiliar to me. Karazgar? Bugdatish? Blame me for focusing on the river and my duties alone, but such curious words are the province of lords and princes, wizards and adventurers, and not Nembadeth of the Raft Elves. To trade is my charge, and in that I excel. 
Interesting. Still, I wish to help you, and help you I shall. Most elves have few dealings with the men of the lake, but the raft elves cannot stand aloof if the trade is to continue. It may be the men of Lake Town know the names you seek, and I can help you gain their good graces. Travel to the front gate of Lake Town and introduce yourself to Vathrek. He is one of the guards there, and you will know him by his crimson hair and beard. Tell him you have come from Nembadeth of the Raft Elves, and he will see you have whatever information you require. I helped him obtain from Felagoth a present for his young son, and he will help you in memory of my aid. Onward to Lake Town. Friend Beryl, I have dislodged you, and with my help your course will be swift and sure. Okay. Ah, oh, the dragon's bones. Yeah. I saw those. I did do the tourist thing through here. Not through here, actually. I didn't see this town at all. Very nice. Oh, hey. Guess I shouldn't yell at anybody else for having radiant garments. Is I'm rather shining in the sun right now as well. Okay. See, where am I going? Nowhere. I'm going the wrong way. I'm like turning around and going back where I came from, which is not, in fact, the path. I need to go down to Esgaroth of Old and then. So I need to go all the way through and then bang a left. Okay. Of course, you know, the reason I was talking about meat pies is that this must be the place from which Bilbo stole a meat pie um, when he got off the barrels. Yes, exactly. When his cold first manifested itself. I'll continue to ride my way through this lovely town. And out we go. And now, left as soon as is convenient. Is this Esgaroth of old? Nice. Oh, those are mobs. Those mobs too? Why am I stuck? Excuse me, Numenorian warrior. We're going around this way. Okay. Of Smaug. Boy, those gems wouldn't be so hard to get at this rate, now would they? But somebody might send me down here on a quest or something. 
They probably won't, on account of I'm not doing any side quests. I am Thorin, son of Thran, son of Thror, king under the mountain. I return. Okay, so this is more or less, more or less where the old guard place was. All right, there's New Lake Town. Awesome. Okay. I love the look of Lake Town. Oh, yeah. Um, almost without exception, when pies are referred to in Tolkien, they refer to meat pies. Yeah. Um, they didn't do very many, like, sweet pies. Um, I mean, like in like 19th, early 20th century England, it wasn't much of a thing. Nothing near as much of a thing as meat pies were, in any case. Okay, our morning tail. All right, I can swift steed back to the. All right, Varthrek. What do you say? What brings you to Lake Town? For there is turmoil aplenty without adding to it. You assure, you assure Varthrek you intend to cause no disruption. And Nembedeth of the Raft Elves suggested you speak to Varthrek directly. Varthrek. Ah, Nembedeth is a friend, <clears throat> and I trust her judgment, though she is more flighty than the others of her kind I have met, <clears throat> and seems more a woman of the lake than an elf of the wood to me. She obtained a very smart wooden carving for my son Saivar on his past birthday, and he prizes it above all. For Nembedath, I will help you as I may. What do you need? You ask Varthrik if he has heard tell of Karazgar, the weeping warrior, and he grimaces. Too often have I heard that name. Really? He is a constant source of trouble in these parts. No kidding. Oh, is he from here? He hangs out here? And seems often the wellspring from which our pains come, though he is rarely seen. Whether he buys his agents with coin or with promises, I cannot say. But I am certain more hands than his own work than his own work our misfortunes. If you ask around town, you may learn more. I wish you well for Nembedeth's sake, but keep your wits about you. I do not want to, you. I do not want to tell her that the man she sent me meant an unhappy end. Okay. There you go, Jade. It says there are four references to pies in The Hobbit. Mince pies and cheese, pork pie and salad. The troll's reference to finding more Burra Hobbits so they can make a pie. And then the pie that he steals um, that we were just talking about. Which doesn't explicitly say as a meat pie, but I think it's implicit. Okay. Yep, Dark Lord has fallen, kids. It's all true. Look at this. Here we are in Lake Town, and nobody's kicking her, kicking her brother. Okay. So where am I going? Anywhere in particular? Oh, the 
sail on the lake down there. It's really beautiful. What a gorgeous design. Uh, you're right. I was assuming that Burrah Hobbit pie would be a savory and not a sweet pie. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, here we go. They won't talk to me. Okay. Apple barrels on the piers. Oh, I thought that guy was saying, I'm happier than a boat on land. And I was like, what? Oh, Kendall, you're right. Lake Town is full of fishmongers, but um, it's okay. I'm not worried. You should be more careful with that name, friend. Folk are on edge here about, and it's said the weeping warrior has ears everywhere. I might know a thing or two about him if you, f you might find of use. Coldfith peers into the shadows. We should not speak of him here. Go to the Dragonborn Inn here in town and tell Fasti outside that you're a friend of Coldfith. You won't be disturbed there. Oh, I thought the cat was a was the red mob I was seeing on the mini-map there. What is the mob I'm seeing on the mini-map there? The rat? No. If the cat and the rat are in cahoots. Hey there, Fosty. You are a friend of Colby. I will show you to a table. I'm sure this is going to end well. Follow me, friend. Both feet will not be long. I'm sure Coldfith will be along to speak with you shortly. There are two taverns, but the Dragonborn Inn is always full of patrons. The noise makes it most well suited to conduct. The noise makes it. What? Okay. All right. Um. This is a crowd? I thought you were talking about the other place was crowded. This place looks desolate. Hi, Ronvig. Yeah, I don't know that I'd call him a friend. He looked a little sketchy. Yeah, I feel like I'm being set up for an ambush. Maybe in the back. Maybe in the back room. Maybe in the basement, underwater. Okay. All 
right here. Okay. There we go. I had a seat. Oh, hang on. Well, you talk to anybody? The dwarf ignores you. He seems content to sit and take in the scenery. Okay. How about y'all? There are many forces at work in Lake Town. You had best keep to yourself or you might get hurt. Most, most of the folk here are good people. Most. Are you referring to me or to your friend there? You aren't from around here, are you? Keep to yourself and cause no trouble and you should have no problems in Lake Town. I've lived here all my life and I come to the Dragonborn Inn for Ranvig's finest ale. It's been a whole week since the last brawl. Now this guy looks like he's not well. No information for you. Okay. I'm being good. Oh, hang on. Ambush in three, two, one. Do you think I might intrude on your time? I hope you do not mind my intrusion, but I have not seen you at the Dragon Morn Inn before today, and it seems to me you must have an interesting story or two to tell. This is my third favorite drinking spot, and I never miss an opportunity to sample the local brew whenever chance brings me through Lake Town as it has today. Another opportunity I never miss, learning more about the folk who cross my path and the adventures that led them to cross it. The dwarf laughs heartily and strokes his beard. I am called Althe Gemcutter, and I am at your service, of course. What brings you to the Dragonborn Inn? Men and women are no rarity in Dale and Lake Town, but I can tell from your dress and bearing that you have passed through many lands to come here. Which is the furthest, would you say? Good question. Arid Lewin? Gotta be, right? You consider your travels and hazard a guess. That's my guess. That is quite a ways. I am something of a traveler myself, for it runs in my family, but I take most joy in the fashioning of complex trinkets and the improvement of my handiwork. Of late I have been less successful, I'm afraid, and it is just and it is not just my own craft that suffers. No oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah, Fausti said there'd be no trouble. Fausti doesn't make the rules, huh? Is this about you, Wigan? Well, reckon so. I'm happy to go outside. This town is built upon the lake, Wigan, and the water rises and falls around it. There is an order to this place. If that balance is upset, Lake Town suffers. You should know your place here. It's dangerous to ask questions about Karazgar Kar Kar here. You might not like the answers. Okay. I don't have any business here. You're going to teach me a lesson, eh? Is there room in the lesson for one more? Hey, Althe seems like a good chap. Keeping out of a fight, not my specialty. Oh, they're not all active at once. You 
free drinks to the patron who knocks out Goldfith. Um. Can I actually... I'm trying to defend the barkeep, but... But, but... Oh, this is Fausty. Fausty. And don't come back. Okay, Ron Vig. Yeah, um... It's long past time someone stood up to Colfith. He has been a source of much trouble for patrons of my inn, and I am glad he has been put in his place. He will not dare to show his face around here for some time, and when he does, I wager I will have no trouble finding folk to show him the door. Is it true he worked for Karazgar? That explains much about his dealings and about the company he has kept. Good riddance to him. You, however, will always be welcome at the Dragonborn Inn. Oh, good. I thought for a minute there that you were contriving at this. Like, that's why he was bringing me here, but... That was an invigorating fight, and all the better because I did not expect it. Perhaps I must elevate this tavern one place in my personal ranking of drinking spots. It is now my second favorite, not my third. I always have time for a good brawl and a refreshing ale. Let us speak outside. Okay, Althea. It was a But fights are not as good are not as good for talking. We will be better able to talk here. I like you. You are good in a fight. That much is clear. Are you also good at holding things in confidence? Yeah, sure. Hang on, just hold that thought a second, Alfie. I need to re up my XP boost. There we go. Progressing towards 115. And quest level 115 still. Doing fine, Wigan. Doing fine. You assure Althea that you will not betray his trust, and he tugs on his beard thoughtfully. I have worked at my craft for a long time, Wigan. My father and my brothers are jewelers of no small skill, celebrated throughout all the kingdoms of the dwarves. And I, too, have achieved no small success in that field. For dozens of years, the gem cutters had no equal, and the pieces we crafted were so fair even the most judgmental eye could be made to weep at their beauty. You should have seen them, my new friend. But sometime, something has been happening for the past few years. None of my efforts of late have achieved the same level of success as my earlier work. That's because things decline over time in Middle-earth, Althe. Um, yeah, your work is not going to be as good as the work of your father's either. It's just kind of the way it goes. Okay, anyway, none of my pieces seem to sparkle as they once did, and others of my kind report a similar waning of their craft skill. Again, I'm telling you, it's endemic, Alfie. It really is. What is happening to Duran's folk? There is some discussion underway at Erebor, and few can agree on the cause. I have taken to wandering, trying to come up with an explanation for this decay. I was on my way back to the mountain when we met. I had found no solution, but your quest has given me an idea. Could it be that Karazgar is responsible for this decline in our craft skill? He is active in the area and has no love for Durin's folk. Perhaps he has worked some evil against us? I invite you to go to Erebor and share what you have learned of the weeping warrior with King Thorin. It may be that our problems are related. I encourage you to slay some beasts on the way, my friend. I will as well, and see you there. You just do that? You just, like, Althe, you just, like, wherever you go, you just kill stuff? Okay. Whoa.
utterly lost in Lake Town. Tempted just to bail and swim for the shore. Okay, here's the center. Okay, no, 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 I recognize this now. This is where I came in. Okay, there we go. Good night, Brunier. Okay. Up we head towards the mountain then. Okay. One thing maybe I'm not understanding. If Karazgar is searching for this missing relic, if I've got to kill animals, they might as well be wolves. If he's looking for this missing relic, Well, you see, my question is, what was his relationship with it before? I mean, do we know anything about his... I mean, maybe I was just assuming. Here's what I mean. I said that it's impossible that this artifact could have gotten into Smaug's lair. And that's true, unless he had it before he came down. If he brought it with him, basically, to Erebor, then it's possible that he could have... Uh, it's possible that it that it could that it would still be in the horde. But the only way that's that could have happened is if Karasgar gave it to him. Karasgar is the one who, you know, convinced Smaug to come down and attack Erebor in the first place. Oh, look a badger. Anyway, I'm just saying. Karasgar. We were assuming that Karasgar was looking for that relic in Dol Guldur. Or that he was searching for it. But maybe he already knows where it is. That is, maybe he knows he gave it to Smaug. Now, its disposition post-death of Smaug would not be as obvious, but... Yeah. Where did... Whom did um, Smaug hire to move his house? Oh, I don't know, but remember, he knows all about tolls and cartage, so, you know... Clearly, he's been in the business before, you know. Oh, a battle cat. Really? You don't say. Ooh, that one's a big one. Get some more food here. There's Dale with 
many bells. Oh yeah. Look at that. A cool half million extra bonus XP for taking that wolf quest. Nice. And there are all manner of beasts along this road. Except right here. Fancy armor here in Dale. Ah, bow and bell. Nice. This place is gorgeous. For you. Let's see. Love the blue flowers. Have a public well in the middle of the street. Statue of Bard? Yeah. Nice. Uh, dragon on his breastplate. Nice. Okay. Is that a, oh, that's a goat. Is this a goat an innocent bystander? Yes, it is. It does kind of look like Aragorn with a bow. It's just the grimness you're sensing, you know? They're both really grim. Yes, I was thinking of the Bells of Dale instance that we went through, Druid's Fire. It was really nice going through Dale itself. I assume I'm going to get sent back there. But hang on, I still got some hunting to do. Time for me to not be picky, I think. Right. 
getting there. Okay, I'm gonna need. To, oh look, time to hunt some moose. Um, what are the odds he knocks me out? Very high. Thought so. Oh, I'll stun you back. I'm going to take a break in a minute as I need to go say goodnight to my wife as it is approaching bedtime for some round here. Boy, Wigan shoots a lot faster than I recall. Plugged that thing like five times before it hit me. Okay. Let me get up to the Lonely Mountain. Yep, for the early risers, exactly. Exactly. Okay, tell you what, so here's what we're going to do. Here we are at the gates of the king. At the gates, the king awakes. His hands are rich with gems and gold. I assume that's a statue of Thorin. I mean, it might be Thran the Old or even Thror, but anyhow. All right. I'm going to pause here at the gates of Erebor. Take another quick break. Um... I will uh, be back about probably about five, ten minutes. And then when we come back, we'll do another drawing. All right? Very good. Okay, so I will be back with you in just a few minutes.